And here we are once again. Sorry about the delay there. My computer decided to, that now was a good time to slow everything down. Uh, this is like. Legends of the Drowned Isles Campaign 2, The Great Confusion. Welcome to this homebrew 5th Ed D&D campaign. Uh, I am Mark the Encaffeinated One, uh, GM and host of this particular uh, spooky serenade, I guess you might say, into the world of, of uh, Omatia. Set 1,000 years before the events of the first campaign, this one explores a, a time in their history when uh, the world was experiencing a kind of waking nightmare for a while called the Great Confusion. I do have my players with me. Hey, guys. Let's start with, uh, on my left, with Silas. All right, my name is, I am playing Silas Marsh, uh, cult entertainer. <laughs> I, I am playing uh, Annie, my name is Marie, and uh, she is a human rogue, and I do hear a little bit of an echo coming from somewhere. When Mark's talking. Yeah, probably, just a, I'm just loud. <laughs> echoing between the other rooms someday we'll figure that out put a wall up or something and I'm next and I'm playing Medrek half or cleric alright uh, pardon me if things move because I just realized I don't like the size of things and I'll be fussing with things and all that but yes uh, welcome once again to my players uh, as we left off in the previous session well let's let's find out boss fight very potentially. The group continued its adventures in the sewers beneath Aelthvater, seeking one of two sources of the primordial, primordial powerful storm that hovers over the town. They are being helped by an aged dwarf named Marda Pitdigger, Pitdigger, whose family legacy is tied to the building of these sewers centuries ago. Having been momentarily stumped by a hidden door beside a strange feature Marta called the well, the group was taken to see another sewer feature to find more clues, the filter. Marta warned them that there was a creature that lived among the refuse named Old Bitey, but as, so long as it had eaten recently, it would leave them alone, probably. Braving the room, the group discovered that there seemed to be some interesting things that had floated into the filter and decided they would try to retrieve them. Silas distracted Old Bitey while Annie went to work fishing out some things she had seen. Annie managed to fish out some items from the pile, a coin pouch, a fancy wooden box, and what appeared to be a ru somewhat rusted mechanical rat with dark red ruby eyes set within the metal head. The group decided that rest was in, the o was in order and relaxed in one of the numerous little storage and sleeping refuges in the sewers. Once rested, they journeyed again, but inspected another small storage room. In this case, there seemed to be nothing but crates and barrels of repair tools and resources, until Medrick stepped into an unexpected puddle of water. Continuing on again, Annie once more saw a lit sconce on the wall, which had become the signal for a likely entrance. Actually, sorry, I skipped a paragraph. Once rested, Marta tried to lead them along a particular path, but the group picked up on her reluctance to go in the other direction. Defying her, they charged into the dark on their own, and she caught up with them, explaining that there was a private residence down here that she'd been told to keep private. Behind a heavily fortified metal door was a space rented by Dr. Marigold. Continuing on again, Annie once more saw a lit sconce on the wall, which had become the signal for a likely entrance. Investigating, she found the signs of a door similar to the ones of the sunken temple, but this one seemed to have been for somewhat forced and broken. The temple itself showed signs of flooding, and two holes covered by grates had pools of fresh water in them, similar to the bottom of the well. The water flowed along the side of the room, which they realized was what had flowed into the storeroom. But the biggest feature in the room was a large hole in its center, uncovered and in the center of what appeared to be a magic circle. From its appearance, it seemed to drop out of sight after only a few, fight, a few feet, so Silas dropped in spontaneously. In an instant, he vanished and found himself whisked away through a much longer tunnel than anticipated. Despite taking a moment to consider what happened, Annie and Medrick followed, arriving merely seconds behind their friend. Limited in light, the group could make out a, a bright blue glow in front of them, poking out from around segmented walls in a large domed circular room. The walls were made of extremely well-fitted stone, as was the floor. Pillars around the room spewed light, converging on large stone cauldrons spewing forth water, 
as if boiled o- boiling over. Just you spewed twice in the same sentence. I've got to fix that. The water flowed into the center, although through the arches of the central wall and into a strange device. The device thrummed with magical energy. It appeared to be made primarily of two oblong squashed diamond frames, one spinning inside the other and each turning in the opposite direction from each other. These hovered over a dais of stone, which was covered in ancient symbols of an unrecognizable language. Inside the frames was what appeared to be at first a column of water, but inside was a feminine figure made of crystal and glass floating in the center, silently twisting in agony. Then, as they approached, the swirling water in the middle of the device grew into a face angry and proud. It asked them, Who dares to disturb the Stormbringer? Have you brought me more to consume? When it seemed that they did not know it, it declared, I am Stormbringer. Since you do not know me, I will destroy you for violating my sanctuary. And we'll go back to the map here and show the current state of the world. All right. Most of the room is dark. Um, Silas has a little bit to see the ability to see in the dark. Medra gives off a small glow. But otherwise, Annie, you're, I think, beholden to uh, just about the uh, little bit of ambient light. And when you're in darkness, you have vice with you. Is that correct? Yep. Okay. And so. Uh, Silas, uh, his staff is glowing. Yes, right. His right. staff is actually glowing. All right. And there's one thing I forgot to ask last time. Mm-hmm. Uh, when you're asking uh, if there's anything else, has any of us heard any? I uh, heard the name Stormbringer before anywhere, in religious terms or arcane terms or old stories or anything like that. I'd say, is anyone trained in history? Nope. I'm not. I am. Uh, Annie, can you make me a history roll? This will be very difficult, though. Oh, I, give me two seconds here. I just realized I forgot to load it so that I can use Dandy Beyond. There we go. Uh, that is a 10. Unfortunately, nothing by the name of Stormbringer comes to mind. What, okay. what does occur to you, though, is that um, despite the ancient language that's on the bottom of the dais, you all understood what it said in the weird, booming voice that it had, almost as though it wasn't speaking with sound, and yet you could feel the sound. All right. And I think... Since it declared an attack, it will get a chance to go first. And I need to bring up, bring up. Um, I knew there was something I forgot to uh, bring up here. Pardon me as I go through my my data. And see if this will work properly. Um, yes. So, we'll see if this roll works. From within, the the thrumming momentarily spikes up as a little bit of extra pulse of energy comes out from the center. Uh, let's see if... Um, this works. Well, it shows a lot more than I needed to, but it does make the rolls proper. Uh, as a gust of wind swings out from this, uh, from the center of this creature, all of you within 30 feet, which I think is everyone except Medric at this particular moment, uh, makes a strength saving throw. New. No. Nope. Both of you fail. You moved, you're pushed back 15 feet uh, in a line, basically, uh, from the center of the device as this massive wind pushes you forward. You do take three uh, bludgeoning damage, and I don't think you're going to hit anything. So I'll move your icons here. And there. 
But Medrick, you seem to be right at the edge of whatever effect it was that uh, pushed them back. Uh, now we will roll initiative. If I can get this uh, just one second, I'll clear this out. All right. Remember when you're rolling initiative, uh, if you do it from the sheet, well, all three of you did it perfectly. Thank you very much. Uh, I and any beat, both of us added together. Uh, <laughs> add that in. Whoops. For whatever reason, what, it changed. Why did... I think I might have had your token. Uh, Sorry, could you remember what it was? It was 27 point something. Okay. It was 20, 20 yeah. Okay, yep. I'll add. I don't have a, a particular icon for Stormbringer, which is why it did that like that. I think now I'm not selecting anything. I can just change that to one. All right. And one quick sort. All right. Annie, it is your turn. Hello. Remember, you can um, ask questions about the environment around you as well, because while I've described it and we talked about yeah. it last week, it has been a week, so. Yeah. Um, so from what I remember, these are pillars that are emitting light onto this thing. That's right. It's difficult to see from the bottom one, but if you, if you look at towards the top, you should be able to see where there are two uh, lights basically emanating from the pillars that cross over on each of those uh, of stone cauldrons. Hmm. Okay. And that seems very deliberate. It's one of the, it's too precise everywhere to be not deliberate. Um. I am going to. Hmm. What do I have? I'm going to move to here and I'm going to try to inspect this and see if I can push it, like knock it over. Okay. Are you actually going to try or are you just going to look at it? Like I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to see like, I'm, I'm going to try to push it. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and make a strength check. Uh, uh, athletics actually. Actually, I. Hmm. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually check to s try to see if if it can be pushed, like see if it's like all one piece attached to the ground or if it's its own thing. From what Silas had noticed last time, and I'm assuming there's a certain level of 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 yeah. chatter back and forth as you make discoveries. Uh, it did look as though it was just uh, something that was constructed and put on the ground. It wasn't attached to the ground. Okay, then I will try to push it. Okay. Uh, athletics um, check, please. Twelve. Yeah, unfortunately, while you were able to kind of heave onto it and you could kind of tip it ever so slightly, like a, a, a centimeter or two, um, all it really succeeds in doing is the water gets churned up a little bit inside. As you're that close uh, and look into it, you see that there seem to be things swimming around in the water. Semi-formless things, but they definitely seem distinct. Hmm. Interesting. Um, that is my action and that. Let me just see. Uh, I will use my bonus action to help anybody if if anybody does come to try to tip this like if anybody sees what i'm doing and tries it i will help them do that that's my bonus action well annie looks pretty smart and whatever she's trying to do i'm going to attempt next <laughs> even though okay. it's not my turn next you know. all right uh, and i'm assuming are you doing it vocally or are you, or are you actually just going to be there to physically help them <laughs> it works either way this case i'm just kind of kind of curious yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll flat out say we should try to push these over or something. This looks deliberate placing. Okay. Uh, next up is Silas. Okay. 
Um, Silas, I'd like to make an arcana check because to him, it looks like this thing is an interloper. And I'm not sure if the cauldrons help it or help the lady inside. Fair enough. So can I try to understand the layout of the temple, basically? Sure. Uh, do these thing, do these things seem to be feeding it or feeding her? I okay. guess. Uh, eh, Fourteen. Um, kind of looking around and, and judging these, um, the, it seems to be two different things combined together. At the very center, you have this very ancient, very strange looking device of a design you've never seen. Um, and the, even the arcane symbols that you saw there, you don't recognize them. They're not in any language you've even heard of. They're strange and angular. Their, uh, their uh, design aesthetic is similar to the device itself, um, kind of complicated and yet with a certain beautiful aesthetic at the same time. Um, the cauldrons, in contrast, while they do have some arcane symbols around them, the arcane symbols are much more familiar to you. They're much more modern. Um, and looking at them, it's hard to tell uh, exactly what their function is because you don't study arcane in that way as much. Um, but they don't seem to be of the same make and model, if you will, as the device in the center. Definitely something that came much, much later. The pillars seem to be original, uh, and they seem to be uh, feeding out energy, if you will, towards the cauldrons, and the cauldrons are focusing that energy and then delivering it to the center. You're not sure exactly of the purpose, but that seems to be at least the direction, and then this strange combination of old and, and relatively new. Uh, he can't get to the one that Annie's at, uh, but he will move up here and just look in. Okay. Um, basically take a look at it. Does it look like healthy water coming out, or is it turbulent and stormy? Or something completely different? Uh, make a perception check. Or if you're actually going to poke something into the water or taste it, I guess, investigation. Um, he'd probably poke the staff into the water and swirl it around a bit. He's investigation. Oh, natural one. Okay. Um, you poke the uh, the uh, staff at the end of the into the water, um, kind of stirring it around a little bit, uh, and then you kind of realize, wait, is it turning because I stirred it around, or is it turning because I uh -huh. uh, because I, I I was already, uh, and uh, do do do. I just gotta make sure I find. This is the weird thing because I'm using my map now as the as the master map to display, so uh, I can't. Uh, so please don't don't pay any attention too much to the additional stuff that I have floating around because I put a lot of uh, stuff in here in case I needed it. I'm just trying to remember. And of course, I can't read it. <laughs> All right. I think that's fine. That's I, I, want. I don't look at that map anyways. Um, yeah. I think that's what I wanted. Yes. As in the water, something grabs a hold of the staff and then slithers up the staff uh, towards you, kind of rolling up out of the out of the water. Yeah, uh, it is. It, it resembles a uh, a serpent, but it is, seems to be f uh, formed entirely out of water. Uh, and it will attempt to strike at you. Mm. Uh, let's see. Give me a DC or sorry, a dexterity saving throw, please. Five. Five. Okay. It wraps around your leg and suddenly you feel extreme cold as it turns itself into ice. Uh, 
you take three cold damage, and you are restrained. Silas uh, screams out to kill it. Kill them all. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> that's uh, Silas. Medric, you see uh, not far from you, your friend uh, poke the water and something comes out. Okay, that's not good. around his leg, kind of freezing into the <laughs> solid block of ice that's wrapped around his legs. With a controlled strike with the Warhammer, I will smash the snake. I mean, if it's ice, it shouldn't be that solid, right? I mean, in th in theory, and, and controlled strike is probably a great thing. Yeah, so I don't like smash Silas's knee. <laughs> that would be good. Okay, two hit. No flailing. Thirteen probably, to hit. Probably recommended. Uh, Thirteen is an excellent hit. Clunk. Four. How much damage? God damn it. D eight. Hey. And indeed, it smashes into small chunks, and then the chunks fall to lifeless water uh, on on the uh, on the ground. I'll just mark it off here. Dead. Silas is now all for pushing them over. <laughs> Do I? Can I push it over as a bonus action? No, that's a full action. Probably not. Yeah. All right. Well, bonus action. I will. Hmm. Shield or spiritual weapon? Well, shield on fire. Okay, so you light up the, the shield. It forms its full size based of flame from the small center of it. Um, okay. Actually, wait, wait a sec. Uh, I was right here. I'll move back a little bit because I saw <laughs> it like blow into people earlier. Okay. Uh, and as you kind of step backward from the, the pool, once again, there's a flush of light from the central creature, the central device, I should say. Uh, this time, the nearest enemy, three nearest enemies within 30 feet, which would be Silas and Annie. Um, you're both, uh, constitution yeah. safe, please. Or sorry, dexterity safe. I was looking at the wrong one. Hey. Holy. Whoop, whoop. 25? Wow. Okay. <laughs> I have a plus six. That, I, I, I'm, I totally oh. believe you. That's just awesome. Uh, well, both of you managed to kind of hop, uh, hop uh, out of the, out of the way. You each still take one point of lightning damage, however. I listen to what half felt. Yo. Uh, Annie. Hello. Um. I am going to. I'm going to grab my crowbar and go at this from the bottom of the thing. All right. The trusty crowbar, which at some point is probably going to become a plus one crowbar. I don't know. It just seems. <laughs> Uh, certainly get it, uh, in get it silvered. <laughs> silvered crowbar. I don't know if a silvering would necessarily help, but I guess if you're trying to leverage uh, werewolves. <laughs> uh, but once again... Or like uh, beat a werewolf over the head. Or undead. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I mean, it's a crowbar. It's, its main job is to lever things. Uh, but please, make me a uh, an athletics check, this time with advantage. Keeping in mind, this thing is pretty heavy. Yep. Uh, 14. 14 is the best I can do. Yeah, unfortunately, once again, this thing is just, it's full of water and about three feet high, I seem to recall. And it's its got wise stance legs on it, specifically designed so it doesn't easily tip over. Um, once again, though, uh, this time the water is disturbed somewhat. And I need to roll. Uh, uh, and nothing happens. Cool. Uh, that is your action. Would you like uh, to that move? That is my action. Uh, I am going to actually uh, 
move. Um, there. All right. Actually, I will move here uh, so that there's something in between me and that thing that keeps zapping me. Fair, fair point. You have a bonus action available? Um, there's not really much I can do with it at the moment, I don't think. Could hide. Sure, I will, I will try to hide. Okay, sneak roll, please. Sneak roll is not great. It's more like, well, there's a pillar in front of me. I must be hidden from everything. I can't see anything, therefore exactly. nothing can see me. <laughs> uh, anyway, she's pretty sure that this thing knows what's going on around it. Okay. It doesn't seem to have eyes. Uh, that is Annie's turn. Silas. Um, Silas is going to look into the thing again without his staff in it and see if there's anything else moving around in it or if that was the only thing. Okay, make a perception check. No. Hey, don't see crap. Unfortunately, it seems like the water's still sloshing back and forth a little bit, but you can't tell anything moving inside. Well, he's going to cast protection from good and evil out of the staff on himself as his action. Okay. Yes, yes, Kitty, you can get more pettins. <laughs> um, and then... Yeah, he's going to book it back here behind Medrick. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, Medrick. Thinking. There's like a uh, loading icon in front of my forehead. <laughs> Processing. Processing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, to start the uh, Graveler, is that a bonus action or an action? I believe that's an action. It should say on the device. Oh, right. <laughs> well, we better do this now. Because I don't know how many of these things are going to come to the pots. So I'll put the zone of controlling Earth elementals down on the floor and say the magic word. Motherfucker. pops <laughs> <laughs> up with a nice One grapply sound. Second, as I've got to find a uh, grappler here. Uh, where did he go off to? I think he's in characters. Oh, maybe. Because we have him. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. Also, my headset is dying, so give me a second. <laughs> uh, there he is. So he pops up right beside you. Or would if that actually was the right button. There we go. Does he get to do something, or does he, does he have to roll initiative? Uh, he rolls a separate initiative, and I'm just going to make sure... Oops, wrong button. There we go. Make sure that he is controlled by all players. Name, Graveler. Uh, and I believe that's still correct. Uh, at some point, I will have the proper sheet connected to him. I'm not sure why it's not now. Do, do, do. There we go. And he is at his full health now. But I can't type that. There we go. So you should be able to move him around, and he should be 
available for you. Cool. Does he get his action right now? Or? Uh, no. He'll get a roll initiative, okay. and then... In fact, I can probably do that. Um, yeah, where did it go? Sorry, folks. This is always a bit of a, a challenge to get everything organized. There we go. And I honestly had forgotten about Grappler. So I'm kudos for you guys. All right. So. And we were done through Medric's turn. We were on Medric. So the Zorn Guardian actually goes next. He actually does go next. So that was your, your action. Uh, you still have your move. <clears throat> and if you have one, a bonus action. No bonus action, but I will direct Graveler. Well, I guess that could be a bonus action. Direct him to knock over that cauldron. All right then. Uh, that is your. Uh, you still have a move if you want to move at all. You don't have to. I just want to make sure you're aware of it. Okay. I'm not sure like where to move actually. You don't have to. I'll move over here so that way I'm like. Ah, my shield equal, is gone. <laughs> I'm at an equal distance between like the two conjurers, no matter what happens. Okay. Oops. Okay. And yes, indeed. Um, although its name reverted back to Zorn Guardian, we'll change it back to Graveler, which is what it's supposed to be. Oop. Uh, he will attempt to move there. Do you have the character sheet? Uh, uh... I believe so. Yep. Yep. Okay, so you can make those rolls yourself. I don't have to. So it's just a basic those. strength roll. It is an athletics roll. If he doesn't have athletics, it becomes strength. No, I don't see athletics. So strength, it is. No perception. Most... And... <sighs> Yeah, most monsters and things don't have um, actual st uh, actual skills. However, a 22 uh, is enough. Uh, and in fact, the, uh, the cauldron tips over, spilling out its water. You see the, the light beside you, uh, Silas, another light kind of flare for a moment and then die down. Um, the crystals beside you actually start to crackle with a bit of arcane energy. Uh, you can take a closer look at those on your turn if you'd like. Mm -hmm. um, but released from the cauldron. Uh, where are you? Do, do, do. is another beastie that appears right beside it. Uh, released this way, it does not uh, reach out towards them. It looks... Oh, okay, it is one of the same uh, sort of uh, snake-like watery form falling out of this particular cauldron. And since it doesn't get that, it does get an initiative roll. If Graveler has three attacks, can it hit it? It used all three hands to, to okay. pull that thing over. He probably has some movement left, though, if he wants to move at all. Or just here. Okay. Standing over the, the soggy former form of its colleague. Uh, that is Graveler's turn. Back around to the top. Um, let's see if this makes a difference. Um, it does. So, once more, uh, as a channel from the center, a brief pulse, and then. Do. do, do um, lightning. Lightning once again. So, have a dexterity check from. 
um, from Graveler. I think that's the oh, he's the only one in range at the moment. Yep. Oh no. He does not make it, so he takes four lightning damage. Four lightning damage. Yep. He's got sixty-nine HP left. Nice. And then, yeah, oh, he's he's tough. He's very tough. Uh, and... He has double the HP that any of us had. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Annie, you're up. Oh, um, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to here, and actually, no, it, that seemed to hurt him a lot. I, I'll move here, and can I see this dude? Um, yes, because the light from Silas would be able to show you. And so you would have seen it flying out of there. It is um, partial cover for it because it's so small. They really are tiny. Okay. They're, they're, they're about the size of snakes. Okay. Um, then I will shoot it with my short bow. Okay. You have advantage too. Advantage because Graveler. Uh, He's in the no, alley next to it. I, I, that, that's, that's not advantage. The, that's, that's sneak attack. Sneak attack. Oh, sorry. Never mind. I get sneak attack if you hit. And, uh, and I'm guessing a ten. It, it, I'm guessing it sees me with a ten stealth. Um. Can make its perception here, but uh, duh, duh, duh. although it's Im immaterial. Oh well, actually no. Sorry, you might uh, you might surprise it. Um, you do, so you get advantage wow. anyway. Fourteen. Um, fourteen. Uh, just one second. The one thing I have oh, wrong window. <laughs> Oh, I need a window that's not going <laughs> to come up on screen here. <laughs> I have to look something up. Just a moment, please. Uh, Interlude music. Yeah. I wish I had interlude music. Um, that's a 14. Uh, uh, uh. Um. How much cover does it have? Half cover? Partial. I think it's got like plus two AC. Plus two to half, plus five to three quarters, and total cover is it can't be hit. Um, in this case, it would be it would be three quarters cover because of the it's so tiny, standing right beside a large creature. Um, yeah. Yeah. So fourteen probably doesn't hit it. Yeah. Uh, so three quarters plus five. Fourteen does not hit, but it's very close. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, that is all I can do. Uh, okay. I will hide again. Worse. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, the creature gets a chance. Digital to dice hate me. Yeah, I was having the same problem with another game yesterday. It was amazing. Uh, Yesterday, I didn't roll above an eight on the die. True enough. That's great. Uh, the Fluso, the water elemental, launches itself at the uh, at Graveler. Please have Graveler make a dexterity saving throw. If it's not listed separately, it's just dex. Uh, 14. That is enough. Uh, it is it is not bound up by the ice around its feet. It sort of steps one of its feet uh, up in the air, bounces on the other two, and the thing uh, pulls uh, at its feet but does not capture it. Silas. Um, when the cauldron was pushed over, uh, he's got enough dark vision to be able to see the center did anything happen with the girl or with the face? 
uh, when the cauldron was pushed over. Make a perception check. Uh, I suck at these. (laughs) Not that you can tell from here. The uh, light from the crystals beside you kind of sparkling keeps distracting you from noticing exactly what's going on. And by the time you look back, whatever effect there was is either normalized or been hidden. Uh, well, I'm going to try something out. Uh, uh, I am going to cast command out of the staff and see what it does. I just need to check the short list of words. Uh, man, there's so many CO spells. Here we go. Uh, what the heck? I'm going to command it to grovel. Okay. I want to see I want to see what happens. I'm assuming the range is like 30 feet or something. 60. Oh, no problem then. Just enough to reach it. Okay. Uh, and it's the thing in the center, the face that I'm commanding. Sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Not the not the little watery guy. Uh in that case I got and, and I will find my spell DC. Uh, 15 is his uh, wisdom save difficulty. One second. Uh... Yes. There we go. He's, I think he used some new charms and Okay, I was looking up what the spell was. Um, as you cast the spell and it goes Orphans forward, undead. you uh, you uh, know that the spell succeeded in casting the 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 uh, end of the staff glows a little bit, and there's a little wispy line that goes directly to it, and simply washes over it with no effect. Okay, I'll yell at the uh, command spells. Don't work on it. You would dare try to command me. You are not my owner. You are not my commander. Who is your commander? Are you in charge here, or are you just a a, a minion of someone else? I tried to act imperious. (laughs) I am the greatest living weapon that was ever created. I was built to destroy, and I will. Uh, that's your turn. Okay. Medric. Medric is going to. Uh, the camera's frozen, by the way. Which oh, camera? No. Our camera. No, I see, I see the one's frozen. What? There's a little bit of delay. Oh. I'm seeing everything working okay. Oh, sorry. The On the map page, our images are frozen. Oh, that's interesting. It's a webcam. Uh, yep. Uh-oh. Okay. It seems to be moving to me, so I'm going to assume for the moment that it's probably working okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah. I do want to actually take one movement just so I'm behind the pillar. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll move four spaces. Two, three, four. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little... Knock this one over. Uh, That's been going over. Okay. Give it a hurl. Ah, Athletics check. Athletics. Ah, 14. That's Uh, pretty good. Unfortunately, it seems so sturdy uh, and so heavy that it seems like it's it's near impossible to knock over by one person. The water churns inside. And you see something get released. Oops, I gotta go to the right level here. Do do do. Gotta use the right thing. All right. Uh, as beside you, 
That's not the one I wanted. <laughs> That's something else entirely. Please ignore that uh, thing. Uh, de -de -de -de. Um, where did you go? That's what I wanted. As a larger body of water flows out from the, the uh, thing at this point. Uh, forming into a body which has now a distinct upper humanoid uh, body, although its face is sort of uh, angular and beak-like. Uh, in the bottom part of it is more like a storm than it is an actual, uh, 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 an actual uh, form. It doesn't seem to even necessarily connect to the ground. And why does that one not have a label? The other one had a label. Ah, just a second. There it is. I need to remember which one it is. Uh, this one seems, yeah, angry about this and will attempt to attack you. Um, as it sort of swings out with um, its uh, arm-like shapes, but they seem to elongate and, and hit towards you. Uh, does a 19 hit? Damn it, that's like just enough. Uh, seven bludgeoning damage as, as the, the water kind of solidifies into ice at the last moment, the thread of ice holding it to the main core of the body, and it smashes into you. Do I still get a bonus action? And you still do. Yep, i got to put it on the initiative tracker here. But Okay. What's your bonus action? I'll summon the spiritual weapon right next to it. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming out. Do, do, do. Uh, let me know, or actually, I'll make sure you can control this. Do, do, do. Um, and actually, um, how long does it last? It lasts for 10 turns, right? Yeah, 10 rounds. Mm -hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do is its health bar is actually going to be the counter. For that number okay. of turns, so that every time you you you, you uh, come back around, just to, to remove it by one, so we know what to do. But you have the spiritual weapon. Please make a whack a deck. Whack a deck. It's only my, my uh, wisdom bonus for the two hit, right? Or is it proficiency? It's a spell attack. Yeah, whatever your spell uh, skill or spell stat is, which I think is charisma. Spell attack player. No, it's Plus wisdom. For is it wisdom? Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Whatever your wisdom bonus is then. Wisdom plus proficiency. Okay. Oof. Smack. That is a definite hit. Uh, it does D8 plus wisdom. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Oops, I went to the wrong one. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> um, yep, and it's a spiritual weapon, so it does... Um, force damage. It's a force damage, or is it uh, yep. radiant damage? Force damage. Oh, okay. Uh, in that case, you see it uh, strike quite strongly. Poof. Um, and is there anything left on your turn? Nope. Okay. Although I suppose I could move. But yeah, I'll move. Okay. As you move away from it, it takes a swing at you. That's 11, a miss. I don't think miss uh, hits. All right. Uh, that is your turn. Graveler's up. It's going to strike the little snake on the floor. Stick on the floor. Or snake. Where is this window? Where did it go? <laughs> Do I just press the? I'll just press the claw attack. Yep. There's one. Um, with an eleven, that's not enough. Uh, that hits. Okay. That's pretty. So little snake. Hit. Yep. It's because uh, it's okay. not it's not hidden from you. Oh right, right. right. Graveler was kind of standing in the way, giving it giving it cover. Right. 
I believe he has three Smack. call attacks, right? Yep. Uh, second one, unfortunately, is a little bit low. And oof, the third one is a definite hit. And I think, yeah, that kills it. As uh, he Splat. kind of smashes down on it and it splatters into little bits of water. That's so just two attacks. That is all three. He missed on the second one. No. No, the second one, that's the slashing damage. It's not an attack. First attack was oh. 11, second attack was 25. Fair enough. For eight Instead. and four damage. Well, then in two attacks, he, he strikes it and kills it. <laughs> then he's going to move three, four, closer to this guy. Okay. Uh, that is Graveler. Slow McSlow. Yeah. He's good at some things, but not so good at others. Uh, let's see. Thunk. Once more. This time. Uh, those within 30. Underway. So I uh, think. Graveler. Graveler and not quite. So just Graveler. Uh, Can it hit its own people? It doesn't seem to affect the uh, creature that was summoned. Okay. Uh, constitution save from Graveler, please. Not. I misspelled something. It's going to bug me. Uh, failed saves. So he takes one thunder damage and he's pushed back 10 feet. So I'll move him uh, back 10 feet. All right. That's Stormbringer's turn. Annie. Hello. Um, well, I can see this, this guy. Uh, so I'm going to shoot it with my sword bow. I'm gonna guess that a nine does not hide from it. Uh, just mm -hmm. one second here. I got way too many windows open. This was a bad idea. Um, <laughs> uh, nine does not. It's below its passive perception, so. Perfect. Uh, four for four damage, and the spiritual weapon does not count as an ally, unfortunately. No. Uh, so, yes, uh, a, a solid strike as the uh, arrow goes, kind of sinks into it and slows down, falls out just uh, just beyond it. It doesn't really hold there. Uh, it doesn't have any solid substance to hold on to, but it does do its damage on the way through. Cool. Um, and I'm going to uh, tell Medric to try again, but hit where the arrow hit. Okay. Okay. Um, it's turn. What are we gonna do? Let's see. Hmm. I think it's going to be annoyed with the sudden attack. What's its range? So it moves to just the other side of the pillar and kind of wells up a little bit. All its 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 arms kind of swell up a little bit longer, and then it launches its arms at Annie. Uh, let's Yay. see if it can actually hit. Uh, does it uh, twenty hits? I'm pretty sure. You take three bludgeoning damage, and you are now grappled. Yay! Uh, it is going to take the remainder of its movement. Uh, you're kind of pulled in towards it. And it's going to take the remainder of its movement to move back towards the center. So let's see. 5, 10, uh, 15. Put it there. Meh. It didn't all move. Dragging you along with it. Wouldn't it be half, though? Yeah, wouldn't it be half because he's dragging oh, right. me? Its movement's not quite that far, so just a little bit. Um, all right. He is not in a very good location. <laughs> um, and as a bonus action, uh, it squeezes um, do, do, do with advantage. Uh, 21 hits for 5 additional bludgeoning damage. And 
that is its turn. Silas. Um. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh. Grab a, uh, yeah, I grab three, uh, stones, uh, out of his pocket, uh, charge them up with a bonus action, and then I'm going to whip one at the, uh, elemental. Okay. Uh, also, grapple doesn't give advantage. Its specific no. ability does. It, yeah. Uh, I got a 22 for four magical bludgeoning. Uh, that definitely hits. Uh, as the stone kind of whizzes by Annie as you're sort of, sort of semi engulfed in this thing. Um, but then takes a large chunk of water and kind of spews it up behind the creature. Um, anything else? Uh, no, that's movement, action, and bonus action. Okay, Medric. I'll move up to it and hit it with a hammer. All right. Make a hammer you strike. Ha! Damn it. You have advantage. All right, I do. Uh, well, ha! Damn it. Because Fair. I helped him last turn. Okay, thank you. So with bonus action, or not, yeah, bonus action, I will use the Fist of Ignis. So that's plus charisma to hit. Okay. With the shield. God damn it. Yeah, unfortunately, you're holding back just ever so slightly because you don't want to hit uh, 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 Annie, Annie in the center of all of this thing. And unfortunately, it's able to kind of maneuver its very, very live body just out of the way. I can't use the hammer anymore, can I? Because I've used the shield as a bonus action. Uh, it needs a bonus action to attack with, yeah. As you move away from it? No, I, I didn't move away. I, I just moved closer. Oh, sorry. I saw you move away, and I guess it was just a temporary glitch. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's Medric's turn. Graveler. The mighty Graveler. Punch! <laughs> Let me find its window. Here we go. Punch. That's a hit, and seven points is enough to kill it. You are released, ah. although soaking wet, Annie. As the creature is dispatched. What else is uh, is Graveler going to do? Where was he? Where was he originally? Here, uh, I think. I believe so. Uh, I think he was one for. No, yeah, he was there. Yeah. Okay, so that this is as far as he can go. Okay, that's uh, Graveler's turn. Once more in the center, the giant pulse. This time a gust of wind. So I don't think fight. any of us are close enough. Uh, Graveler probably is. Graveler is definitely close enough. Okay. You're outside of it. I think everybody else yep. is. Uh, Graveler needs to make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Or sorry, strength saving throw. That shouldn't be so hard for him, actually. Damn it. Oh. oh. Graveler. Uh, it takes it. three bludgeoning damage. Uh, moves 15 feet. Unfortunately, 15 feet is going to take it uh, into the pillar, so it ends up basically there. Possibly into med uh, in Medric. Medric, a dexterity saving throw, please. Actually, both of you make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, sorry, uh, Annie and Medric, because it's basically flying through. It's pretty heavy. Okay. And, ah. from, 
Any? I just Sorry, I opened something and it moved everything slightly to one side. Yeah, I know that feeling. The flailing is appropriate in this moment, though. Okay. Oh. Um, so the worst of the two is Annie. Uh, Annie, it collides with you. I'm going to say that it's slightly there. What we'll do is Annie will actually get knocked back five feet so I don't have to have people piled on each other. However, uh, both of you take five points of bludgeoning damage as you smash into each other. Is this something I could use Uncanny Dodge on? Yeah, uh, that's for something you can see, isn't it? Or was it? Is it yep. when an enemy targets it, you, or is it when something? It's when an attack. So. It, yeah, no, it's not when an attack, attack that you can see. Okay. The the other one, I think, will allow you to. I think it's evasion will allow you to do. do... It, see, it's it's that line of evasion is for like area effect things. This would count as an area effect, essentially. Yeah. Um. But yes, as it kind of cracks back into the 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 pillar behind you. Um, actually, that's an interesting question. Uh, the pillar shakes and shudders, and some of the crystals fall off the sides, uh, sparkling. Uh, Annie or Medric, do you have... Actually, no, Silas can see it from there. If you're trained in Arcana, you can make a roll. Nope. I am not. Sorry? I missed that. Um, if you're trained in Arcana, you can make a roll as some of the crystals fall off the uh, sides. I definitely am. No, there you go. Uh, can't see the thing. Oh, 24. Dang. Nice. As they fall off um, and sort of detach from the pillar, one of the things you noticed about these, these uh, crystals before, or rather you surmised because you've heard of magiophages before, basically things that consume magic. And it yep. seems as though these little crystals are attached to this and growing because of the magical emissions that's coming out. That means they have some magical properties. And mm. uh, if you were able to examine them, you might be able to determine what kind of magical properties they have. Definitely something to consider. Um, and maybe relevant. Who knows? Uh, Annie, you're up. Or actually, you're prone because you were knocked over by a flying uh, uh, graveler. Yep. Um, I'm going to... Uh, honestly, there's not much I can help with at this point because I'm not strong enough to knock anything over. I don't have... I, I have a magical dagger and that's it. Uh, so I'm going to go here and hide. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Nice. 23. Determined this time to, to, uh, to be hiding. Are you going to help somebody? Um, there's nothing much that I can help with. I can, the, the, attack, the range thing is specifically for attacks if the person they're attacking is within range, right? Right, right. Okay. So there's, there's not much I can do to help at range for moving things. Oh, and you just did a, a probably bonus action hide anyway, so I think the help is a bonus action, right? Sure, I'll hold a third bow attack if something shows up. Okay. Silas. Um, yeah. Think of anything much for center. Actually, how does the thing in the center look now that we've pushed over two of the cauldrons? Only one has been pushed over. Oh, I thought the other one was pushed over. Okay, never mind. No, I tried. Grabber okay. was on his way and he didn't quite get there. Well, I am going to go grab some of the crystals okay. and I... quickly see if I can use them for something. As you grab them, you can feel the pure magical essence. Please make an arcana roll. Hey! Nice. Double 22. Whoop, whoop. 
Uh, as you hold on to them, the thing that you realize about these crystals, whatever they're formed from, whatever the seed is that makes them uh, work, they essentially filter magical energy, which means that within them is essentially pure magical energy. You can use them in the following ways. You can use them like a minor healing potion. So it's the 2d4 plus 2 uh, healing potion. You can use them to restore one magic slot. Hmm. And if you how, come up with a clever way to use them otherwise, let me know. Uh, how many of them do I have here? One. Okay. And judging from the cluster that's on them, uh, most of them have two, maybe three on them. Okay. Well, um, hmm. Oh, is that my action? I assume That so. was your action, yep. Yeah. Is it a bonus action to use a potion? God, did we ever did we ever clarify what our, our rule was? I think I think having it in hand, yes. If you had to go well, and reach it and take it, yeah. it was, like at least last campaign, it was for you to take a potion. It was a, a bonus action for you to give a potion to someone else. It was an yeah, action. Yeah, I think so. Good call. Yep, that makes sense. Okay. That's what we've uh, been doing. Yeah. Well, um, he's going to test it out on himself then, and uh, let's see. Um, Oh, I will correct myself slightly. It restores one spell level worth of slots. But you feel okay. like if you used consumed a number of the, at the same time, you could potentially restore a larger slot. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Silas holds it out in front of him bet uh, between... Uh, he's got one hand on each end of it, and he will drain it of magical energy. <laughs> Okay. You feel like literally having to smash it will release the energy. Okay. Um, then Silas will hold it against the pillar and smash it with a staff. Okay. Um, I should make you roll for that. No, I'm not going to. That seems too cruel. <laughs> uh, what magical effect are you seeking from it? Well, uh, I don't have any slots to restore, and it wouldn't be enough to do it anyways, so I am just taking a healing potion from it. All right. As you smash it, it, it uh, drains away from that bluish shade that it had into nothing more than dust, uh, and you are indeed restored. Uh, we'll go ahead and roll one, uh, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Edric sees that, and it's like, what the hell? Cool. Yeah, there's a sort of smashing, and then this, this bluish uh, light kind of floats over uh, yeah. uh, Silas, like he's snorting it, and he's seems Silas to be restored. Will, yeah. Uh, Silas will mention, um, you can smash these to restore your health or your magic. Excellent. There's one more on this particular pillar. This one only had two. The one, well, I don't, but unless you take a closer look, you won't know how many, but... Yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, is going to move? I don't think so. Um, actually, he will move back toward the other pillar, and that's it. Okay, you had to move to get there, so I don't think you have quite the full movement. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I think he moved to. There we go. Okay, Medric. All right, go back up to here. All right, push, heave, ah, athletics. Ah. Fuck off. Unfortunately, it's it's uh, too tough to move at the moment. Ouch. The water, back. although roiling inside, does not actually seem to e emit anything. We need to get Medric his own crowbar. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> and as a bonus action, I'll move. Uh, I'm assuming the face in the center is uh, the blue dot, right? Uh, essentially, yeah. One, two, three, four. I'll move there. Yeah. Let's... I think uh, it's you... well. I think it's the four squares in the middle. Yeah, essentially, the blue dot is there to provide light, actually. Uh, but you find as the spiritual weapon attempts to move through the barrier, it is blocked. Damn it. Um, 
That All right. Is... Well, I guess Graveler's next. <laughs> okay, Graveler's up. Graveler, do like I tried to do, but properly. Hand, hand, hand. Sweep. That's oh. not very properly. Unfortunately, uh, unlike the last one, he seems to grab this one by exactly the wrong points, making it the hardest possible thing to, to tip over. As the water sloshes inside, nothing and happens. Uh, then I'll tell him to get back. Okay. So he doesn't crash into us uh, again. What is In this movement? In a FYI. Hmm? What is this movement? Only tw only uh, four squares, but he was here to begin with, I think. Was he? No, he, he was, he was, uh, he, yeah, he, he headed up against the pillar, so. So that would, that would have been one, I two. Yeah. Okay. And then he could Three. move two back. Yeah. All right. Let's see if anybody. And uh, FYI, uh, there's going to be somebody coming at my house to drop off something, so I'm going to have to, like, quickly exit and come back. Okay. Just let us know. Um, Will do. As there is nothing within range, nothing happens from the center. Annie. I give Medrick the crowbar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just kind of imagine this sort of this sort of moment uh, as a magic weapon is transferred from one person to another, and it's just a crowbar. Just yeah. like... <laughs> Someday it'll be a, a magical crowbar. Uh, and I would like to move here and once again... Do I, do I need to hide again, or...? Uh, took, you took an action, so yeah. <laughs> No. Ooh. Ooh. There's a little bit of the uh, the crystal dust that uh, Silas is playing around with, and as you kind of walk over, it crunches underfoot, and you're like, what the hell is that? And that kind of breaks your stealth. Silas. Ooh. Well. Um... Yeah, needs to prep first. That's three, four, five. Uh, he is going to uh, grab a couple of the crystals there. Uh, okay. How many? It is an action to try to remove one. Okay. And that, that is an athletics uh, check. Hmm. Yeah, he'll try it once. Okay. Uh, nope. This one seems to be so firm that when you grab it by both hands, you lift yourself up off the floor rather than it. I don't think that's how grabbing works, but but yes, he doesn't. It's really high. Um. So that was movement and action. Um. Uh, he's going to, uh, he's just, he, right now he's going to count the ones that, uh, look like he could, uh, look like they could be removed. So at least he knows about how many are on there. Okay. looks like two on this particular pillar. Okay. Cool. I'm done. All right. Uh, okay. Medrick. With a crowbar in hand. Heave! Is that with advantage now? Uh, it is. Hey. Hey. First one's a 24. <laughs> and I, I'll, I guess I'll take the 24. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, you're like, how do I use Oosh. this crowbar anyway? And then you kind of lean down with one arm and you kind of lean into it. And as you're jamming the crowbar underneath it, it starts to give way. And you're so surprised, but you kind of lean into it even further, and the crowbar uh, jams underneath it, and yes, the whole thing gets tossed over. Uh, good job. Tossed over the opposite way, yeah. which I, like, like opposite to where I'm standing, right? Uh, tossed over to, if you will, the west. Yes, northwest. Um, sure. Uh, and as you do, oh, I'm going to get the right button here. There we go. Do 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 do. The water pours out and solidifies, this time turning into 
another one of those uh, half torso creatures. Here we go. As a bonus action, the hammer will come close to it and hit it in the face or anywhere, really. Ow, that's only an 11. That's not right. Just a second here. There. Uh, an 11 is a miss. And I'll walk back to where I was before. All right. Graveler's turn. Graveler will punch the creature multiple times. <laughs> smack. That's definitely a hit. And smack. Hit, miss. Uh, that is also a hit. Smack again. And with three hits, the creature is dispatched. Yeah, Graveler. Go, go. Can we give Graveler... Le uh, uh, can Graveler go up in levels? Because he's way better at this than we are. He's already way better than you guys are, which means he's never going up in levels. <laughs> at a certain point... Then don't move to the side again. Um... Yeah. Okay then. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get, the, get that guy on the uh, initiative, which is kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Uh, that was Graveler's turn. Quick check. Graveler is within range. So, once more, the Stormbringer launches forth its call. Uh, this time, um, Constitution save from Graveler. I think he's the only one within range. Damn it, Graveler. You have 22 Constitution, and this is your best. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> pushed back 10 feet, takes 2 thunder damage. So 10 feet uh, and 2 thunder damage. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, Annie. There was something briefly, but Graveler took care of it. Yup. Um, I am going to put Vice in its sheath so it's not making light, and I'm going to run to here. So I'm not emitting this light. Uh, and hide as a... Yeah, an action, because... Or uh, as a bonus action, and I'll hold 19 to hide, and I'll hold a short bow attack if something shows up. Okay, and you are, are in darkness now. I turned off your lights. Uh, which actually gives you advantage on stealth, I think, because it's complete darkness. But I think 19 is plenty. All right, that's Annie's turn. Silas, holy moly. Okay, Silas. Um, yeah, Silas is... Oh, actually, sorry. Two of these have now become uh, released, so... Oh, yeah, never mind. Um, 30, 40... It's still just within his dark vision range. Uh, has he... Uh, does he notice any change since the last one was pushed over? Make a perception check. Okay. God, I wish I was trained in perception. Okay. <laughs> Un unfortunately, uh, there's too much going on for you to really notice anything. Okay. Maybe it's the angle. He's going to move forward. I'll be right back. Uh, and spend his action again. He's going to try and analyze what's going on with the cauldrons. Uh, they seem to have some crude runes on them, but do they still seem to be uh, producing more water, or have they stopped since they were tipped over? The first thing you notice is they do not seem to be continuing to produce any water. Okay. Um, if you want to analyze the runes, that's a, an arcana check at this at this point. Sure. 
Okay. 20. From what you can tell, the runes seem to turn the vessel into some sort of portal. Um, an extra planar portal, judging from the water coming out. Uh, literally from the portal or from the plane of water. Hmm. Okay. Uh, that's his movement and his action. Uh, so that'll be it. Okay, Medric. Uh, Medric might still be away. Oh, sorry. Um, and Graveler will be up next after him and Stormbringer, so we're going to wait until see he, what, what he has in mind. Uh, let's see. Well, that gives me a moment to organize. Uh, so we'll bring some things into... Now I know where my people are. So in the meantime, um, we could take a break if people needed a, a, a bio break. Oh, nope, never mind. He's oh, back. Interlude music. Do, 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 do. Okay, what I miss? Uh, well, uh, Silas moved forward to take a closer look at one of the cauldrons. Okay. And that's basically it. It is your turn. I will also move forward. So there's six. And all of the shadow bonus section. Okay. Just realized. thought there was a way to uh... there we go um, so these things are there are no longer admitting light which ones uh, I'm turning them off now but basically the pillars by the uh, by the cauldrons which tipped over mm -hmm. are no longer emitting light Hmm. Wah, wah. Okay, so you, you did a double move for your, your yeah. action, eh? Okay. All right. Uh, that's your move and action. Do you have a bonus action? Medric, uh, bonus action? Yeah, there you go. As your flaming hammer kind of slowly catches up to you. Okay, Graveler's turn. I believe Graveler has blind sight. I don't have this sheet open at the moment. Tremor sense 60 feet, dart vision 60 feet, passive perception 16. Yeah, he's good. Yep. <laughs> so, what's uh, Graveler up to just moving? Are you muted or just not saying anything? Uh, you're muted. Crap. Yeah, I, I was muted. I was talking the entire time. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I can't see Graveler on the map. I just, like, luckily clicked yeah. on him and I was able uh, to move him. <laughs> right. Oh, you know what? I can fix that. Um, because Graveler has sight. Uh, sight beyond sight. 
We'll just give him night vision 60. Yeah, you should be able Perfect. to see him. All right, that's uh, Graveler, Stormbringer. Stormbringer once more. Let's see if... Um, hmm. Yeah, I think that not seeing anyone there, but knowing you're there, he will do something else. Uh, as a ripple flows out of the water, uh, coming off into the direction of the uh, space up there and the direction of the space up there, uh, out of them seem to flow two servants. I'm not going to get them off the right level. Um, Could you take my control of Graveler away so I can still see where's dark and where's light? Sure can. Because that matters a little bit more for me. Good point. I didn't even think about that. Uh, controlled by. Uh, oh, what? That's weird. I may not be able to do that. That might need to be done by uh, by you, Nax. I'll just see if it pops up again this time. Uh, what was that? Uh, yeah. I don't know if I can actually do that. That's weird. Uh, the the option for me, if you double click on on uh, Graveler, mm -hmm. and then uh, it's in the character sheet settings, not the token settings. Ah, thank you very much. I will. I still have that character sheet. Uh, hmm. It just in this case matters a little bit. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know if I can do that anymore. It's either on like the bio and info page of the character sheet, like in the handout, or an edit. I forget I which one. You couldn't find it in either of them. Yeah. But no, it's it's the DMs because the DM it's who mm -hmm. has the handout. Yeah. Hmm. One second, I will try to peruse this because it's not on the character sheet. Um, but, oh yeah, the other edit screen. I keep forgetting there's two edit screens. Doo -doo -doo, I think I've got it here. There we go. Okay. Cool. Does that make it better? Uh, it did not. Oh well. Hmm. It should only be accessible to uh, to uh, Medric and myself, or Nax and myself. Let me just double check that worked. Um, in his oh, site. Mm. Yeah. No, sorry. Go ahead. In its site, is it? Set to, yeah, I, th I think it just revealed the, the entire area. Like, I, I don't know what's going on. Anyway, we, we can continue. <laughs> uh, oh, roll 20. You have all kinds of fun surprises. Because <laughs> um. if you move Graveler up one, to, just to hear, to see if it, it reveals more to me. Oh, there you go. It just needed the token needed to be updated. Okay. There you go. All righty then. Ah, yes. Stormbringer was bringing in some friends. Uh, let's see. One will appear there. One will appear there. And that must be tied to the character sheet because that's not right. Um, there yep so uh, outflowing from uh, the two uh, upper uh, cauldrons um, let's see Silas can see both of them uh, although your vision is somewhat obscured by the device in the center Medric you can see yep. just ahead of you uh, a new creature has been released this one seems different from the other two this one seems larger uh, and is uh, uh, its arms are much larger and sort of ripple with the shards of ice 
that seem to form along its surface. Uh oh. Uh, that is its turn. Annie. <laughs> Um, can I see into the light from the dark? Yes. Okay. Uh, then my reaction would have gone off to uh, oh. shoot that guy. Seems reasonable to me. Pew. Pew, pew, pew. Pew, pew, pew. This is my reaction. Uh, 21 to hit. <laughs> yes. There's nothing I can do about that. Absolutely. Cool. Uh, uh, eight piercing. Okay. Um, as you watch, the arrow kind of collides off the surface. It does uh, cut a little bit in, but not as much as you expected. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Um, you need to get your magic bow. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I have a magic dagger, and I'm not throwing that magic dagger. It is my source of light. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was my reaction. Um, okay. For, so for my turn, I'm going uh, to walk straight towards Medric. Uh, I would like to hide in the darkness if I can. Okay, you can certainly try. You have advantage. That is a one and a ten. Let's add a zero to that one. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I would like to shoot dude again. Okay, you have advantage. Uh, actually, can I reach? This guy is actually with. Uh, within 65 feet, so it's within 80. So I'll actually shoot that guy. Okay. Do I have advantage on it? You do. Let's see. Nope, that is not a crit. But mm -hmm. I'm guessing 21 hits. It's definitely a hit, though. Yep. <laughs> uh, five damage. And that is everything. All right. Silas. As you see, bows and, uh, flying all over the place, or arrows flying all over the place. Not the bow. The bow is fine. <laughs> Please do not um, throw the bow at the enemy. <laughs> That's a last ditch effort. Yeah, without of arrows, throw the bow. Okay, he moves up to there. Is that as close as I can get because of the barrier? Or is the barrier bigger than that? Um, you'd have to test it. You, there's no visible barrier. Okay. Well, I try to walk there. Okay. You are blocked uh, when you try to pass through this this gap. Well, I'm here at the corner. Then there's nowhere to test the barrier. <laughs> You're standing in front of a wall. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't know if the barrier was bigger than the wall. No, I thought right. if, if I can walk to there, then oh, actually, yeah. sorry. If we, how uh, how high is the wall? Uh, the wall's about 15 feet. Oh, okay. I thought it was like two or three feet. Uh, no, I'll stop there then. Okay. Um, sorry? Yep, no, go ahead. Um, he's... Okay, now he's going to study the face and the girl and see if they seem to have changed. Okay. Uh, Perception? Yeah. I was going to ask if I could use insight instead, but it's the same thing. Can you use investigation? Mm, there's nothing really looking. to investigate here. You're just looking. Investigate so is that's kind of what investigation is. Like, investigation is purposefully looking for something. It's really poking around and, and uh, overturning things and trying to put clues together. And uh -huh. Perception is, is I'm just looking at things. 16 is enough anyway. Uh, as you, you look, uh, things have changed inside. What you do notice is that the, uh, the creature inside, the, the, the woman of, of crystal, no longer seems to be just in pain, but actively seems to be smashing up the, against the inside of whatever is holding her. Uh, seems to be fighting back. What effect that has, you're not entirely sure, but it probably has some, some effect, if, if nothing else than a distraction. Keep at it. Uh, I yell out, uh, 
uh, we're having uh, we're having an effect pushing those over. Uh, then he's gonna just move up to there, and that's it. No, he doesn't really have a bonus action he can use. Okay, Medric. Okay, I'll make sure I go off mute this time. My cat's being a butthead. <laughs> so I will... Eh. There's a dude right there. I will hit him with a hammer. Okay. With a 12, which is probably not enough. Uh... A 12 would normally be enough, but a shield of ice forms on one of its arms and blocks the attack. As a bonus action, I'll move the spiritual weapon next to it and attack with that hammer. Okay. Oh my god. Oh, no, unfortunately. Uh, it's it. Even though it seems to be made of solid ice, and now as you get closer to it, you realize that it stands about 8 feet tall. Yeah, it's not entirely solid all the way down, but it sort of hovers a little bit on a, on a thin line of ice that touches the ground. Uh, and as the the uh, sh the weapon comes in, it sort of bats it aside. I'll move slightly more to get out of any other effects from the central pillar or central yeah. face guy. And that's my turn. Okay. And I'll stand. Can I, is it too, is it too late to stand defensive or? Uh, that takes uh, an action. All right, never mind. Uh, Graveler. Graveler will move and then move again. <laughs> I say move and, that's and move action. again. <laughs> All right. It's like, oh. Let's see, Stonebringer. Do, do, do. Not quite at that level yet, but. Hmm, why not? Do, do, do. I'm not great at those. Give it a try. Oh, that's a 19. Uh, your spell uh, level, uh, Medric, what is your spell casting save DC? Uh, 13. Actually, sorry, it doesn't require that part of the roll. Uh, your spiritual weapon vanishes. God damn it. As a surge of, ele of power, uh, kind of bluish electricity surges out of the, the creature and or out of the center and pierces the, the weapon. Bastard. Uh, that's it for now. Annie. Um, I will... Once again, uh, actually, I'm going to um, give the help action to uh, with my bonus action to hit this guy, to Medra. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell him to go around the field this time. Uh, and I would like to, uh, once again, short bow attack this guy. All right. 15? I just realized I didn't put them on the initiative. <laughs> so one moment, please. I have to see if they actually would have had a turn or not. Uh, this guy. All right. That's that one. He will have a turn coming up. This one may not matter anyway, but I will do it. Uh, this one. Okay. So that one wouldn't have changed. Uh, this guy would have had a turn, so I'll have his turn come up next. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Uh, what was the attack? Uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 does hit. 
So nine, nine short bar damage. Nasty. All right. It's not looking uh, happy. Uh, cool, the, cool. the creature that's beside you, I think you were there. Midric. Oh, I would also like to continue to move forward. Okay. Um, once I get here, I, I've been around this this room. I know that the the poles were side by side. So once I feel with my hand, welcome back. I'm gonna stay there. Okay. Uh. We're just going to assume you were within range, Medric, when it was going to take its attack. We'll just do its attack now. Okay. It's easier than trying to figure I was, it out. I'm still within range anyway. Um, with its opposite hand uh, from where it had formed briefly the shield, uh, it, it extends out to another uh, uh, two or three feet beyond its arm as a long piercing blade. Uh, and the other fist, uh, or the other, one, other arm becomes some sort of roundish fist. So it strikes at you. Uh, does a 15 hit? Nope. Okay. And then the other one, 18. Ooh, no. One more and it would have. <laughs> really? Your AC is 19 at this level? Wow. Yeah. Definitely going to have to do some more dangerous stuff to you guys. All right. Uh, you know, let's see. Every armor you wearer. gave him that shield. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I did have a big shield like to begin with, but it wasn't on fire. Yeah. Um. Yeah, it's the heavy armor that I always forget about. Uh, let's see. It would have appeared last round. Have I not been updating the thing here? No, I did. Okay, so it's it's technically its turn again because <laughs> that was an attack from last round. <sighs> All right. Um, and, you know, when you're trying something, keep trying, I guess, until you succeed. Okay, that's a success. Yeah. Uh, that's a crit, in fact. So, uh, 15 points of piercing damage. And then once again, with a numbing fist. Uh, oof. So when it does hit, <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Uh, and it's going to stay where it is. The other one, sorry, the other one would have had a turn last turn. It's only a, it's only a turn, is to step into the water and vanish. Uh, Silas, you're up. Hmm. Sorry. Just started to eat just as you said. Silas, it's your turn. <laughs> I have great timing. Okay. Well, Silas. Hmm. Silas is going to put the bottom of the staff out first, charge at the cauldron, try to get the staff under it, and flip it over. Okay. Uh, I won't give you advantage on that roll, but I will. it will be lowering the difficulty. Is that a... Uh, oh, sorry. Bonus action, I'm empowering the staff first. That's probably a good idea. I don't want it breaking. Actually, you know what? You did You did uh, charge the entire way, so we'll give you advantage. Why not? Uh, you want that to be athletics or staff attack? Uh, athletics. Dang. <laughs> I mean, you could hit it with the staff. It's really going to do almost nothing. Uh, but unfortunately, as you, as you charge forward and kind of put the staff underneath it, you kind of lean into it, and you hear the staff go, and that's about the only effect. Yep. Uh, that's your movement and action. You said you had no bonuses, so Medric? Uh, the bonus was to charge up the staff. Oh, right. Thank you. Medric? Oh, sorry. Yeah, no Medric. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Am I on mute? Not anymore. Okay, I'm not on mute. So I'll uh, cure wounds on myself at level 3, because I went from like 27 to 3 hit points in one turn. That's wise. That's 19 that's really HP. And as a bonus action, eh, I'll punch.
punch it with the shield. Okay. Huh. Just let me get the dice properly. Here we go. God damn it. Yeah, I can't hit anything. This fucking misses right. Well, you've hit most of the things. <laughs> but, uh, uh, not not many. <laughs> Graveler hit most of the things. <laughs> Graveler is assist, yes. Uh, so that was your action and bonus. You do have your move. No, I'm staying here. Okay. Um, besides Speaking you, Speaking of Grapplers. Silas, nope, not yet. Oh. Besides you, Silas, coming out of the water that it was hidden from, you see two watery tendrils as the creature tries to grab at the... Uh, and it is it an elemental? Uh, it is an elemental. It has disadvantage to attack me because of protection from good and evil. Oh, nice, nice. Well, an eight does not not uh, attack you then. Yay! Uh, and it, it comes back. up and goes, whoa! <laughs> yeah, it kind of bounces off this weird shimmery shield around you. Uh, and the then, fuck? Uh, uh, tr uh, dives back into the water and becomes invisible once more. Now it's Graveler's turn. Graveler will find his window... And punch. No. Punch no. again. God no, damn it. Afraid not. Punch a third time. There we go. Oh, there you go. That's that's definitely a much more solid hit. And it's going to eat. Uh, nom, 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 nom. There we go. Uh, well, it punches. Uh, um, can it bite in the same turn? Wow, everything is really dangerous. Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, the bite does hit. There you go. Do, do, do. Uh, wait. Oh, yeah, no, it's a magical creature. Never mind. All right. Nastiness. Nastiness. Uh, let's see. From the center, once more, a surge of electricity goes forward. Uh, this time in Silas's direction. Oh, but nothing happens. Hey. Uh, let's see. That's that. Annie. Um. Well, the only thing that I can see is possibly this thing if I step to the side of the pillar. So. Um. You know what? Yolo. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hit it with voice. 14. Stepping forward with voice. Uh, hey. It reacts and a shield of ice forms across its hand, knocking the, the blow aside. I disengage and I slip back into the darkness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Run back into the darkness. Bad yeah. idea. <laughs> uh, and and Vice goes back in, into its sheath. I, I pressed mute before I finished the sentence. <laughs> I have done this. Okay. Uh, let's see. The creature. The creature wants some more. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think it's going to go once more uh, on uh, on Medric. So first with the blade of ice out of its arm. 18 does not hit. Barely misses. Woo. Uh, the other one with the numbing fist does Damn hit it. for five cold. Um, that is its turn. It's not going to risk getting hit, so it's going to stay there. Silas, you're up. Um, be straight. No. Silas is gonna move over to the side, so he's not quite so near the big pool of water, and keep trying. Okay. I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. <laughs> no advantage this time because you're not taking a run towards it. <gasps> uh, dang it! I lost my tab. Sixteen. Uh, unfortunately, not. Uh, it is just so so heavy. Okay, that's all I got. Okay, Medric. Hammer time. <laughs> Actually, 
16? Uh, oh, 16 dude. bounces off the shield. Fuck. Shield time. Also bounces. God damn it. Yeah, it manages to sort of dodge out of the way. It seems very stalwart and solid and ready to pounce. Okay, that's your two. Uh, that's your action. Yeah, that's my Ready everything. Bonus. Yep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Once more. Um, from within the water, once more, you see two more tendrils launch out towards you, Silas. Okay. Uh, again with advantage. And nine disadvantage. Is, so nine. Yeah, nine doesn't hit. <laughs> Nope. Right. And it dips it back down into the water. Graveler. Graveler cracks his knuckles and punches. No. Punches again. Uh, the second strike hits. And again. Oh, that doesn't hit. And then he bites. Uh, the bite misses. Damn. He, he tries to bite, and it kind of crunches down on the shield. Uh, but uh, does not make it all the way through. All right. Uh, he can move. No, he's standing right there. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stormbringer at this time. Let's see. Where are my dudes? Uh, this time. Once more, uh, lines of, of uh, ripples of power flow through the water below. Uh, and... Uh, you see both cauldrons bubble forward. Uh, the one in front of you, uh, Silas, as well as the other one that's... Um, shoot, where'd he go? Not in there? No, nope, that's not the one. Sorry, I've lost some of my people. Well, I'm just going to have to clone one then. Duke. Where did he go? Pardon me as I adjust to life as a keyboardist, apparently. There we go. Uh, although actually he flowed out of this one. Why does it say that? That's not what I had in mind. There you go. Uh, and beside you emerges a very large beast, uh, Silas, as you recognize another one. If I can get it to go there. There we go. As another one of the very large ones emerges from the uh, the cauldron in front of you, perhaps for disturbing it so much, or perhaps on command of the Stormbringer. Uh, this time, I'll remember to put them in the stupid uh, initiative order. Uh, and this one. Yeah, there we go. Uh, no, that goes last anyway. This one goes sooner. Uh, that is Stormbringer's turn. Uh, there is a, a, a increased and now visible to everyone increased amount of of storm-like activity around the device itself. Clouds are sort of spewing out at random. Lightning is crackling around it. Uh, even what looks like rain, but spewing out in all directions uh, from the center, and then a whirlwind also twisting around it. It almost seems as though it is out, uh, almost out of control. Uh, Annie. I'm going to try what I did again. Okay. Uh, Run in and stab. Roop. Roop. And then try to stab you, stab. 17? 
uh, it's going to react react again. And uh, once again, the the shield forms. Uh, oh, actually, no, that hits. That hits. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, it can't be. Um, okay, so this is going to be a bunch of damage because Yay. everything. I just need to. All right, so. Uh, every, everything triggers. So there's much. the. This one for its base damage. And then. Oh, I, I, I it automatically wrote what? Oh, oh yeah, so it rolled all yeah, yeah, it rolled all three automatically. That's lovely. Yep. Um, almost everything triggers. You're not below half hit points. Yep. Uh, Force if wielder is below half hit points, that's the three. Yeah, but you're not below half hit points, are you? I am. Oh, okay. I'm at 16 of 33. I did not realize that. <laughs> uh, that's so a total of 15, it looks like? Yeah, to oh, it actually added it up for me. I could have just read that. Yeah. <laughs> As the uh, mighty I thought stab... that pushing the button only did the piercing damage, not the force and the other one. So There's, there's sneak attack, too? Oh, yes. Yep. Sneak attack on top of that. <laughs> Another six. So, uh, because this is a larger boss than most of them, how does this uh, actually kill it? Uh, I, I want to stab it in the neck. Okay. <laughs> so, so, kind of coming no, out I, I of... Come out. <laughs> uh, <laughs> reshoot my, my thing, disengage, and run back. Um... As, yeah, you kind of run forward, leap upward, and there's that moment of you turning just aside where the shield would have would have blocked it, and the the uh, vice finds its mark, stabbing into uh, its uh, its uh, neck uh, to uh, to great effect. As the creature sort of uh, burbles and then turns into a splash of water that flows into the the mass that's there. Good job. Uh, I've got to get rid of that guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Initiative. He would have come up next, so that would have been really bad for people. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. That was your turn on the other side. Nope, the one on this side. Okay. Hmm. Uh, hmm. What is it going to try to do? It is going to try to disengage and move in towards the water. When it does so, it immediately vanishes. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Did I get the right one? What happened? Okay. I don't know if that did what I meant it, meant it to do. It should have vanished from your view. If it hasn't, then... It hasn't. There there, now it is. Buttons. So many buttons. Silas, you're up. Out of this uh, cauldron has emerged one of the larger creatures, which you did see your friend just uh, dispatch, so there's hope. You're muted, I think. Yeah, just trying to cut down the echoes. Um... Yeah, well, Silas screams out real loud and tries again. <laughs> okay. I wish we had uh, one yeah. sort of 70. Unfortunately, it is just so heavy. Yep. Uh, well, that's all I got. Okay, you're not going to move at all? Nope. It'd try to whack me if I did. Okay. Medrick, you're up. I still have the crowbar that Annie passed me. <laughs> okay. So you put away the... I'm still doing this at advantage, right? <laughs> Putting away your hammer and then grabbing the crowbar. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's, get, let's do this. All right. Yeah! Oh. 20? So close. Not natural, but... No, unfortunately, it's higher, you than, get 20? The crowbar, it's, it's higher than 20. Uh, gotcha. When you get the crowbar underneath it, it sort of half tips, and you're like, I think I've got it. I think I've got it. And no. Crowbars seems... get advantage. Uh, yeah. They do, actually. So yeah. 
and now no, that's even worse. Damn it. Unfortunately. Uh, it almost, it, some water tips out of it, but then it crashes back down to its feet. Uh, you have some movement left and bonus action. Mm. I'll just stand defensively if, uh, just in case something else comes out. Well, that was your action, so you don't have the All right. defensive stance. But Then I'll just wait. <laughs> and I'll right. instruct Graveler on how to do it properly based on what I just did. So does that mean Graveler can have advantage? No, because you don't have the same help action that Annie has. Damn it. If you were doing it at the same time he was doing it, if you held your action, that would be a way to give him advantage. All right. Then I can't cast a cantrip as a bonus action. Curses. Unless it is a bonus cantrip. Nope. All right. Well, it's Graveler's turn, I guess. Not quite. Um, from the water around you, around the base of the cauldron, you see two uh, two arms emerge, uh, trying to grapple onto you. Me or Silas? Uh, to um, Medric. Uh, okay. Twenty twenty one. It has advantage. It's hidden. yeah, twenty one hits. Uh, so you take six bludgeoning damage. You are grappled. Uh, it can't. It pulls you over towards it. Um, you still can't really see it, but you could, at a disadvantage, try to attack it. It does use oh, its yeah, bonus yeah. Do bonus action uh, on your turn. You can use your your your, uh, oh. your attack, uh, but as a bonus action, it squeezes. Well, actually, it's more like uh, other tendrils of water kind of bash you in the face. Um, oof, and succeed. Six points of bludgeoning damage. And you get the feeling, although it hasn't moved any distance, and it has dragged you over a little bit. Uh, technically, it's dragged you over into the edge of the water. Um, but you get the impression it's trying to pull you e into the water, which isn't quite that deep. But if you were face down in it, you would be drowning. Uh, now it is Graveler's go. And Graveler can't see that thing? Nope. You can still attack at disadvantage, but you can't see it. Well, Graveler is going to knock over the cauldron. Okay, give her a try. Uh, where is this window? Graveler strong. There Graveler we go. Very strong. As Graveler succeeds in tipping over the last of these cauldrons. Nope. Or sorry, the third of the cauldrons. That's what I meant to say. Sure, I meant to say that. Uh, and the water flows out. Uh, there well, is, I wish it was. there is a sort of cry of of anger that comes from the center, uh, and now you can see the the sparking and the arcing from the center grow even more fierce. Uh, it does seem to be a larger storm forming at the center, however. But that was Graveler part part of its move and uh, action. And. Yeah, that was one of his moves. One. Then he'll move three on. Well, he moved two to get there. Because he was on the other side. Okay, so he's moving here now. Okay. Uh, let's see. The creature beside Silas decides that it takes a, uh, a, a not a happy view towards you. It lumbers mm -hmm. over top of you. Uh, the uh, the protection against good and evil, first of all, how long does that last? Is that 10 minutes or an hour or something? Or? Concentration, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Uh, so that shouldn't be an issue. But that does give disadvantage to its attacks, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, it forms one arm into a piercing blade. 11 does not hit. The other hand has this cold frost around a large... Uh, fist that also misses. <laughs> good, good going. Uh, Yay! Let's see, Stormbringer. Uh, a cry of rage comes from the center, and Stormbringer once again uh, launches the uh, the storm outward. Uh, 
I don't ha- I don't have the ability to change the text on the fly, but the range now is the entire room. Uh, Annie will have an advantage against uh, the hit just because she's under cover. Lightning, the three closest. All right. Nine. Ow. Uh, let's see. That would be. Looks like. Uh, looks like it is. Yep. So yeah, Graveler, probably me, Medrick. Graveler, Silas, yeah. and uh, Medric. Uh, Medric, you have disadvantage because you're grappled. Hey. Okay. Uh, let's see. That takes four. So Medric has a nine that does not succeed. So you take nine points of lightning damage. Half work resolve. I'm at one hit point. Okay, and Graveler. <laughs> Where damn it, I close this window again. <laughs> you need him up. He's important. Just a tad, yep. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, now it won't like it won't come back. Oh, is the edit button peer appearing there? Yeah. Hit the edit button. It'll bring up the other screen, and then you can bring it mm-hmm. up again. I, I discovered this this workaround. Edit, save changes, and then it works? Uh, you don't even have to save changes. <laughs> All right. I just pr- press cancel. There we go. Yeah, it's it works. It's a workaround. Oh, he rolled a 20. Uh, nice. He only takes four four points of lightning damage. All right, that was Stormbringer's turn. Annie, you saw this lightning erupt out and sort of cascade across the room. Whatever storm is in the center is getting worse. You also see this massive creature, although failing to connect, still lumber, still standing tall over Silas, mm-hmm. who did just get struck by lightning. Ah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I saw Silas grab a thingy from the pillars, didn't I? And he he, he said said that yeah. the person yes. killed. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I am going to try to wedge one out then. Okay. Uh, was athletics to pull it out. Uh, athletics, yeah. Seventeen. Yep, no problem. You you snap off a crystal. Where there is right here, you would see it looks like three bundles of crystal. Okay. Uh, so I will take one, and I will use it as a potion. Okay. Smash it against the ground. Inhale the potion. 2d4 plus 2. So, so eight 6, points. 8 plus. Okay. I'm at 24. And bonus. Uh, okay. Uh, you can't move outside the walls. Oh, it, that's outside the wall? <laughs> yeah. It's a big circular cool. room. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my goodness. Everything is off. I'm, okay, I'll, I need I'll to move. I'll move you back to where you were. I'll move you back to where okay. you were. Uh, no, my entire screen, like when I'm trying to click it, is like about this much off from where I'm clicking. Oh, weird. I don't know, I don't to... know why. It's driving me insane. Okay, so this is where I was. Uh, I will... Is the wall here? Yeah, th- there's a wall kind of surrounding the circle. Okay, so I will basically go around the wall does that does that do it uh yeah you're 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 probably need to be there just because you'd be in the wall halfway there's not really enough space to uh, the square hexes and round rooms don't really mix together all that well so (laughs) oh good uh i I would basically run into the wall and follow the wall okay that's true you can't see very much and vice is vice vice was probably out he probably used a device to, to pluck the crystal off the wall or off the pillar, actually. Yeah, but I've, I've, I've been staying in the dark, so I've been basically light up and put it away. That reminds me, I've got some lights to put away. What is 
these no longer emit light. <clears throat> Okay, I suspect things got a lot darker now for Annie because there were a couple of lights that yeah. went away. All right, that's Annie's turn. From within the water, which guy is this guy? Okay. So I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, where's his... From within the water near you again once more, Silas, you see two tendrils emerge. They're kind of working at opposite ends, perhaps, but still, this one's determined to grasp you. Uh, okay. With advantage because it was not seen or could not be seen. 25. And disadvantage, oh. disadvantage because of protection. You're lucky. Eight, then, does not hit. Yep. As once again, the watery tendrils kind of bounce off this invisible shield. Uh, have you taken any damage? Nope. Nice. I'm getting hit. Well, I did earlier, but not since I put it up. Nice. Well, Silas, it's your turn. Oh, wait a minute. No, the lightning. I took four ah, points from that. Right. So make a quick uh, constitution save. Oh. No, and it was down. So the 25 does hit. Take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, actually, and you're grappled, which means it pulls you towards it. Oops, wrong level. Uh, as it grabs you and drags you into the water, similar to what uh, Medrick is facing right now. Mm hmm. Medrick is probably going to die because, like, I can either heal myself and take, and take more damage the next round, or. I will say, actually, because you're grappled... No, because grapple does give a disadvantage. I was going to say, you could, you could see it, but at the same time, you're also pinned up by it. So it's still difficult. Uh, so it is Silas's turn, however. Okay. Um... Annie, you can see that both of your friends now are bound up and not looking great. Yep. Unfortunately, there's not much I can really help with without magic or range. You do have a bow. Fair. Well, I will say you can um, also break out of the grapple with a strength check. Yeah, that's not likely to happen. Um, okay. So, uh, I'm going to cast protection from good and evil again. Okay. Uh, bonus action, I'll recharge the staff to make sure it's current. Other than that, not much I can do. That staff is not, that's not a concentration spell, is it? The Shale protection? Yeah. Shillelagh. Oh, Shillelagh? No. Okay. I just want to check. All right. Medric. Well, there's not much I can do. So, Channel Divinity, Glory of Midday. Oh, there you go. I'm wondering why you're holding on to that. So, uh, tell me again what that does. 2d6. What's the, uh, the, the range effect and what does it look like? The range is, I was just looking at that. Yeah, each hostile creature within 30 feet of you may, makes a con save. Okay. Uh, actually, the are there. So that means... For damage. Okay, con save. Uh, oh, that's... That's a save, okay. What's mm -hmm. the damage? Uh, uh, half of 14, so seven. Half of 14. layer here oh <laughs> as the creature around you evaporates <sighs> releasing you good that, that's good uh, I just gotta mark it as 
and I might as well move it back to the object layer. As you now know where it was. And I'll move it under you <laughs> so you can actually move your own character. There. Yeah, that was close. I thought it had like way more hit points. Or is that the other one? The other guys have a lot more hit points. So I'll get up and leave the wa the water area. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And cast a spiritual weapon again next to the other dude. Um, if I may just say, because I'm mm -hmm. a nice GM, um, the effect that just happened with the storm struck the entire area, but yeah. if you had cover, it helped. Oh, okay. Where was I? So you were where the creature was. As uh, Annie, you see Medric kind of explode with the fury of the morning sun or the, the midday sun and then kind of limp back behind the uh, the pillar. Uh, the pill Being behind a pillar gave advantage on the roll That's or right. did it make the roll unnecessary? It gave advantage. Because at one hit point, it won't help him. Yeah. Because <laughs> even if he succeeds, he'll take one point of damage and go down. Depends on what the effect is, because some of them only target the nearest ones. Some of them target uh, all the area. So there's still yep, a chance. But it, he would be guaranteed uh, yeah, to go but, down otherwise. If it's, one, if it's one that can hit him, then yeah. Mm -hmm. But yes, that, that is a good point also, in depending on what you want to do for a uh, a bonus if you have one. The only bonus I have is well, I can just, I can cast a spiritual weapon from here too. It'll just take it a while or take a while for it to get True. unless. But if you have any healing, that might be a good idea. Not as bonus actions. Okay. Yeah, he doesn't. I don't think he takes healing word. Okay. Um. Is healing word a bonus action? Yep. Word bonus action. Yes. Yeah. Oh shit! It's, it's the only it's the best low level. fast. Yeah, it's the best low level heal. Absolutely. Yeah, I've never used it. Awesome. Okay. Well, it's ranged and a bonus to action. It's not a huge amount of healing, but it's it can be pretty pretty good. Okay, so are you casting a spiritual plus, weapon? Or... Yes. Uh, healing word. Healing One d four plus. Modifier. Oh, per level, is... yeah. Per level? If you cast it at a higher level. Yeah. Okay, so that would be 3d4. But then, eh. Fuck. What should I do? Neither of us have healing. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Uh, okay, I'll uh, cast however, it at level three. However, you have discovered that there is healing available. Yeah, but not really in combat stuff easily. That's a good I'll one. give myself hey. 13 hit points. I hope I don't regret this. Right. Almost that maximum. Level three. Yep, that's good. Nice, nearly maximum. That's great. It, it is generally always advisable to have a few hit points kicking around. Yeah. Uh, if you if you strike and don't succeed at the end, then it you you're kind of in dangerous territory. Okay, that was your move, your action, and your bonus. It is Graveler's turn. What is Graveler going to do? It was going to go pound on the other thing, but. Pounding on the other thing would be good. <laughs> It'll sprint towards the other thing. Ha! But then it, it's exhausted and it can't do anything. Okay. Except maybe distract it. Well, it's distracting it in that it wants to hit it instead. So the That's good. water elemental strikes at, uh, at the uh, earth elemental. It's, it's turning into mud. Uh, does a 10 hit? I don't think a 10 hits. I don't think so. Let me check. What's his AC? 19. Yeah. Uh, and then with the numbing fist, eventually. 21. Not good. So five cold damage. All right. 
And back around to Stormbringer once more. Uh, let's see. Can't do that. Can't do that. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Well, he will try. Uh, let's see. Uh, not enough. Nothing happens. Annie. You've been used to this regular pulse of this creature, of this force in the middle. And suddenly, for some reason, for a second or two, nothing happens. It's weird. Don't like it. Same. Uh... I will go over and shoot a shoot a sharp bow. That is equipment, not action. There we go. <laughs> Going to the right tab is kind of important. You throw oh, the quiver oh, at oh. it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Hey, that is definitely a hit. Uh, so that and the snack attack. So, so for eleven. Fortunately, you do see that it sort of glance off the the heavy ice hide of the creature, but it does uh, send some shards shattering and flying. And he is within 30 feet of me, so I will give Graveler advantage on his next attack to it with my bonus. Go, Graveler, go! Get uh, it! I hope you understand me! <laughs> Uh, next up, surrounding uh, uh, Silas, uh, the creature will will pulse inward as it tries to grab onto you. Um, you did cast that spell again. Isn't it my turn? No, it actually it's hidden from the initiative, but it actually goes next. Ah, okay. Uh, when they're invisible, uh, you don't yes, see when they go. So it has disadvantage again. Okay, so advantage and disadvantage as it tries to. Uh, to grab on, uh, so nine does not hit. Yeah. Uh, as you feel yourself being dragged uh, a little bit, um, it tries to shove your face into the water. It does not. I let it. You cannot drown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I let it. But that is its its its. Just action. go it's, lamp so it thinks you're dead and it'll, it'll leave you alone. <laughs> it's mean, trying its very best. <laughs> I, I start I start flailing and going. Ah, ah, ah. If you want to make a performance roll, I'm assuming I'd have to do that as my action. Uh, it's not an action; it's more of just a general state of being. I'll make it a reaction in this case. How about that? Because that makes sense uh, and it's funny. Funny. <laughs> Great. Yeah, I can't see it. It's very convinced that you are drowning. Now, I will say that the drowning rules in uh, D and D are pretty generous towards the players. Technically, right. I think it would take you several minutes to drown. That's kind of weird, but depends on what your con is. Yeah, if your if your con's plus zero, I think you get one round and then you're drowning. So uh, that is its turn. It is now your turn, Silas. Now, you've successfully convinced it you think that you're drowning. I don't know what you're going to do next. Hmm. Uh, well, while I'm drowning, I'm going to flail at it with my enchanted staff. Okay. I will say make a performance check as part of your attack as well to convince it that you're just flailing rather than actually... Okay. Uh, let's see. It's not really all that smart. Uh, we'll say wisdom, actually, in this case. Yep. Yeah, nope. You 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 successfully look like you are a drowning, randomly attacking guy, and randomly hit it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I look at a nineteen on its wisdom save. I only get a fifteen on my performance. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the other way around. Yeah. No. The twenty. Uh, the twenty was the first one. The reaction well, one. So. You you still managed to successfully uh, hit it, but now it is convinced that, oh no, this thing hasn't drowned yet. Uh, or is yep. not drowning. And it's one point short of making it let me go. Yeah. So it takes nine magical bludgeoning. I didn't just change yours, did I? It's a little bit ambiguous on my screen as to what I just hit. Nope. 
Okay. No, I'm still at eight. Good, good. I wanted to make sure I was at the right level. Uh, that was your action. And we said the bonus action for the performance or reaction, but in this case. Uh, let's see. Yeah, no, I can't move, so that's it. Okay. Medric. And what's the range on Sacred Flame? Actually, no. Spiritual Weapon is going to pop up. Okay. Whoosh. Where'd you go? Uh, spiritual Weapon. And let me give a second to uh, assign it to you. Do, do, do. Control by, there you go. You should have control over it now. So tell me where it appears up. It shows up yeah. right here. Okay. I think I think it's a 60 foot range to start. Is this 20 to move? Okay, then it's, it's going to start right here then. And it's going to swing for the fences, and rather for the faces of the elemental. Fuck. Uh, and that is and that's not nothing, enough. I guess. Not enough. Uh, as it kind of flames towards it. Uh, that was your bonus. Uh, you still have an action and move. Um, you do How know, far away do I have to be to right now? I have to touch for damn it. For things like cure weapon or cure wounds, yes. Um, like healing do, word. Uh, healing, healing word is, is ranged sixty feet. Yeah, but that's um, a bonus action, though, right? It is yep. a bonus action. Yeah, uh, you've already but used your bonus as long as spiritual weapon. Uh, yeah, you only cast one at the same time. You can only cast one bonus uh, or use one bonus action at a time. Um, but you do also know, as uh, Annie and uh, and Silas both know, that those crystals, once knocked off, can be used as a form of healing. All right, lock up the crystal then from okay. the pillar of where I am. So an athletics check. Ha! No Clunk. problem. You knock off one of the crystals. Now you you've used your action to do that. You don't have your bonus action. Normally, it'd be a bonus action to use it as well, but you have one in hand. Okay. Uh, move. Nope. <laughs> okay. Uh, Graveler's up. Graveler will. Eh. Yeah, Graveler will punch several times. The hell did I just do? No. Okay. He has advantage on the first one. Awesome. Yep. And he shouts encouragement. winds up and so 21 with advantage on the first strike oh, well that's the second strike um, all right the uh, first one misses as it uh, once again kind of forms a, a temporary shield the second one does hit though and the third one winds up again no but not advantage and then bites also nope. no uh, nope those do not hit So that's uh, Graveler's turn. Not going to move, I presume? No. Okay. Uh, it's Although, turn. Hmm? Yeah, it, it, Graveler will move. Okay. It's going to go down. How, how do I just... No snapping. Uh, you're on the measurement one. Yeah. How do I unmeasurement uh, it? On the left-hand side, the toolbar that's there. Make sure the, uh, the little arrow is selected at the top. There we go. He's going to move here. Okay. I know it's going to result in an opportunity attack, but... It, it will take that opportunity attack. Um, misses. 14 misses, yep. Now it's close enough to help Silas. It's true. And all it really <laughs> sees is Silas wrapped up in water, which is kind of weird. Uh, uh, let's see. It's turn. What is it going to do? I think it's going to stomp off after uh, after 
Graveler, because it's determined. Uh, a strike with the Ice Blade. Nah. Uh, strike with the Numbing Fist. I don't think it actually can hit all that well. Oh, that would have been nice to have advantage, but I didn't. So, it swings and misses. Does the 17 hit? No. No, it's Graveler has 17. Yeah, they both oh, wow. have ridiculous ACs. Uh, I've got to definitely beef up some creatures because I just I thought they would hit you guys. Wow. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, let's see. Stormbringer's turn. Let's see. It can do that now. So it will attempt once more to do the Pulse of Weather, which springs out from it. Wind whirls in a whirlwind from the center out in all directions. Uh, so I need a strength saving throw from all the PCs and Graveler. I'm under the water. Do I still need to? Um, actually, no, you don't. And you're also grappled. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you let it? So that way, like, it pushes you away <laughs> out of the water? <laughs> I wish. Did you say strength okay. save? It is a strength yep. save. Yep. Any buffs up. Uh, but uh, Medrick is uh, yeah, that's... back. Uh, you do have advantage uh, on this, uh, actually. Uh, that's, uh, sorry. That's, that's Graveler. That's, that's Graveler. So Graveler does not have advantage. Uh, and uh, uh, That looks like Medrick also does not. Uh... Uh, Medrick does have advantage, though. Oh, okay. Because you're behind the pillar. Uh, unfortunately, Didn't still not. Much. It did uh, two points of damage, but it knocks you back 15 feet. So first, let me do that. You do smash into a wall. So you take an additional three points of bludgeoning damage from... Uh, from, yeah, from... Huh, that's kind of a weird way to put that. It's really meant to be if you're, if you're throwing back, which is only from the first save anyway. So, yes, three points of bludgeoning damage as well as the two points of other bludgeoning damage. Uh, let's see. Annie held fast, so she takes the one point of bludgeoning damage. And uh, you don't do that. Uh, Graveler is knocked back, so he takes two points to start with. Um, make Graveler make a dexterity saving throw. He succeeds, so he actually doesn't collide with the uh, cauldron and is just going flying back. Uh, Medric and Graveler, you're both prone from this as well. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, that's Stormbringer's turn. Annie, you, you, all the rest are being blown back, and you're like, no, I will not pass. Uh... I am going to, uh, I can get to here, so I will, and I will, I need to sneeze, give me two seconds. <laughs> the gust of wind comes from Annie. That's the worst when it just like mid-sneeze goes away. <laughs> um, Dispel sneeze. Actually, I'm going to stop here when I'm going over. Uh, yeah. Uh, I am going to give... No, no, I'll, I'll go here I, if I want to go there. I... Yeah. If I back up, the advantage is, it doesn't work that way. Uh, so I will give... Graveler advantage to hit that one again with my bonus action. And I I can't see what's holding Silas, right? Um, with a perception check, you should be able to make out Silas, but you can't see the thing itself. So you'd be firing yeah. blind with disadvantage. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to hit this guy okay. with a short bow. Well, an arrow from a short bow. Nine. Uh, well, 24 to hit. That's important. Uh, and yes, uh, that strikes uh, once more, glancing a little bit, but still doing... Damages damage. Absolutely. Not zero. Ah. Uh, so yes. 
Growler has advantage. I'm over there. I'm behind a pillar. All is well. Okay. Uh, in the water once more, the creature will attempt to squeeze at thee. Um, again, did you? You didn't get that spell off. Yes, I did. The defend. Okay. Keep forgetting. It has disadvantage and advantage, so it's just a regular attack. Yeah. So regular attack as it grabs onto you. Whoops, not that one. That's oh, good. Uh, well, that's that a hit anyway. <laughs> as it sort of squeezes the air out of you, and then again tries to sort of drag you into the water, still thinking it can drown you. No, Constitution save. Okay, spell's still up. Nice. It is your turn. Well, I'm going to beat on it again. <laughs> Disadvantage to hit, but uh, it's not a particularly tough creature. Eh, 11. Uh, 11 is not enough, unfortunately. Its watery bo body is difficult to distinguish from the water around it, and so you just sort of flailing and hitting some water. Uh, that's your action. You have bonus. Nope, I get nothing. Okay, Medric. Well, Silas isn't looking so hot, so I will cast a... Uh... Wait, no, fuck. Can I see the thing holding him, holding him down? No. You cannot. You can still attack it. It's just at a disadvantage because it's invisible, effectively. Okay. Well, I'll cast cure light wounds on or cure wounds on myself. Okay. Level one. That's all I got left. Okay, there you go. Some hit, hit points back. Um, bonus action? And bonus action will be to bring the spiritual weapon around where Silas is and, like, swing at a disadvantage. Okay, we didn't put the counter on that one again. I'll try to... Uh, I, I think it's been, like, three rounds, so it should be a seven. Yeah. Yeah. First roll. That's good. Second... Is 13 enough? Um, 13 is enough to hit it. Woo! Hey. Whack. Eh. Four and damage. That is, uh, what kind of damage is that again? Uh, Force. Force. Okay. Um, you see it uh, kind of strike down into the water, splashing up. And around you, uh, Silas, you feel the creature tense from a mighty blow, but it's still there. Okay. Uh, that's your turn, Medric, uh, unless you're going to move. Nope. Okay. Uh, Graveler? Uh, he's Graveler prone. Will Actually, you were prone as well, so I'm assuming you would have stood up. Okay. So Graveler stands up, moves two. There you go. And it punches. <laughs> oh fuck's sakes I closed the window again <laughs> he's the most important NPC I know just, just ask him he has a whole story he's our tank he winds up and poof oh that's a hit uh, yeah that's a hit a straight on and again, hit again and winds up a second time misses uh, that one it will react with the shield and it does miss third time coming from overhand hey 19 uh 19 hits Poof. so some good solid hits on this creature he grabs it pulls it into its face to bite nope that misses unfortunately fucking brain freeze nope 13 total damage <laughs> it tried to lick the ice cube and it did not work uh but an overall quite a quite a hefty success from graveler uh, now this creature will turn its attention back to Graveler itself. Uh, it has not had nearly as much success. Let's see if it does now. Uh, that is a hit. Uh, as it stabs in, eight piercing. And then with the other cold fist, whew, 
actually hit twice. That's rare. Wow. Uh, it does a lot of damage, too. So total of 18 points of damage to poor little Graveler, who's barely hit at all. Uh, let's see. This round, Stormbringer. Once again, the storm forms in the center and... Oh, well, actually... Uh, nope, that's the wrong character. Never mind. Let's try it over. <laughs> uh, yes, is able to launch a storm. As the pulse goes forward once more. A tidal wave. We haven't had this one before. Water flows Dang out it. in all directions, floating over. Uh, dexterity 14 save. Uh, you do have advantage for Annie and Medric. Yeah, it doesn't really matter for me. Even on a save, it's going to oh. knock me out. Uh, so Medric fails. Oh, sorry. No, I got that's, that's with the advantage. You succeed. Uh, so you take... One point what is this, damage. dexterity or con? Dexterity. Dex. Dex, okay. I'm not worried. Uh, yeah, no problem. Yeah, I'm not worried. <laughs> uh, so each each of Medric and uh, Annie take one point each. Uh, one point for uh, for Graveler. And actually, right. you're 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 not affected by this, just like the other storms, because you're held underwater, uh, Silas. But it's a tidal wave, so it'd be the water that's moving. Yeah, it's basically Oops, holding you in place, so it can't height, throw you. Yeah. So okay, so do I you take damage, though? No. Okay, I'm back at one hit point. Um, now I know what it feels like to be a half-orc. <laughs> <laughs> Water's your friend. Uh, I mean, Fake half-orc. Uh, Annie. Hey, MJ, smile for the cameras. <laughs> Kitty. Oh no. Oh no, you summoned Kitty. A giant paw goes across the whole screen. Okay, so I'm gonna to move to the side. I'm going to tell Graveler to uh try biting first as my help action. Okay. Uh <laughs> two cats. And We're being invaded. I, I my cat is like sleeping. She is the perfect little princess sleeping in her crate. <laughs> uh, that is not what I was looking for. Uh, so, and I'll take a short bow attack on Duder over here. Okay. Uh, 22. Hey. Get, and you get your sneak attack damage. I get sneak attack. Sneak attack. Go, NA. Nice. Nice. So that's 16, so 8. Indeed. As a large chunk of flies off of its shoulder. Uh, but yes, looking my, rough. My advice is to use the bite attack first. Bite first, and then the brain freeze would be fine. I don't know how that works. Um, okay. That was Annie's turn. You have moved a little bit. Do you want to move any more? Uh, it does look that you, like your friend, although you know he cannot drown, is still kind of being held down there and has not been seen for a little while. Yep. I also don't have anything that I can help him with. Yep. Um, except the so, crystals. I don't have a crystal on me. No. I have to use my action to do that. So sure. I've, I've been doing damage. Fair enough. Um, I am going to go back behind pillar. Okay. Um, that means it gets a chance to pulse once more, or to squeeze once more. Uh, however, that's not been doing that well because it still is his advantage. Uh, and an eight doesn't it doesn't hit. And again, it tries futilely to try to drown you. That's really kind of funny. Uh, Silas, you're up. You're muted. I think. Yeah, all I can really do is try to whack it again. So. Okay. A 14 hits. 14, because you're disadvantaged because you grapple. But that does hit. Hey, that's I've been bludgeoning to I rolled maximum. Uh, you know how much hit points nice. it had left? Uh, actually, I'm going to guess 11. Uh, I don't know, actually, because <laughs> I chose the wrong thing. Uh, no, actually, I was right. It had one hit point left. Oh, my yeah. God. As it is now uh, dispatched and flows like water around you, you no longer feel its presence holding on to you. Uh, and I will actually show it to you as well. Uh, not that it matters because you're there anyway. 
and you're standing on it, so it can't be seen. Uh, that was your action. Oh. You are now free to move. Uh, well, I'm going to stand up. Well, actually, how deep is the water that I'm in? It's only about is a foot like... and a half. It's foot and a half deep, but it's enough to drown. Yeah, a person. that's perfect. Uh, yeah, I'll stand up. Okay. Um, uh, and yeah, I'll. Uh, actually, one, two. You stood up, three. so you only have half movement. So. Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going good. over there. Okay. Uh, that's your action. Do you have a bonus? Uh, nothing useful. Okay. Medrick, you're up. Remember that you have a bundle of the crystals in your hand. Yep. Could I throw them at Silas? <laughs> I don't think you can reach him from there. Yeah, I All don't right. think you can throw. For, actually, I don't know what the range is. Well, then I'll throw a healing word in Silas's direction. Hey. Actually, thrown would be 20. You get three hit points. <laughs> oh, but wow. hey, it's better than one. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> and for my minus action, I will move this spiritual weapon back here and hit the thing, or try to. All right. Hey! That nice. is a That's... crit, which is pretty nice. Yep. That's quite... Oh, no, it's a spiritual weapon. It's a yeah. spiritual weapon. So roll another. Uh, just add the three from the D8 to it, though. Yep. So, so that would be 12. 12 points. Yeah, it's double nine plus five, right? No. Nope. Uh, no, because you, you don't get your damage bonus on the, on the crit die. It's just the dice that are doubled. So you'd have nine from the first one and then three more points from the, the extra okay. die. Yep. However, that does take a large... Oh, wait, no, never mind. Ah, uh, the spiritual weapon. Yeah. Yeah, the spiritual weapon cracks it in the back, and, well, Medrick, how does this one get destroyed? Yeah, the thing is just, like, unaware that the hammer is behind him, and it starts spinning faster and faster and faster, and then it just, like, well, it's spinning this way, then it turns around to, like, at this angle, and just... All you can see is from the front of the ice elemental... It just like explodes outwards. I kind of imagine we get like three separate shots of the thing from different angles, and we see the the hammer kind of bashing up, up, up. The the chest is kind of exploding. It's looking down in wonder and trying to understand what's happening as it explodes, and its head goes flying across the room. And then with one la last Oof. strike, actually gets lifted up a little bit, and then with one more strike of the hammer, it it belts it like a baseball and smashes it into small pieces. It is done. Good job. Uh, Ooh, that is your bonus action. action. <laughs> that's a heck of a bonus action. That's what that is. Whew. And Graveler. Nope. Uh, you have your action and your move still, Medrick. No, I'm staying right here. <laughs> the okay. Stormbringer is still out. Uh, actually, your action was to cast Healing Words, so we're good for yeah. that. Uh, Graveler. Uh, He's going to knock over the Cauldron. I hate to say it, but uh, Healing Word and... Um, Spiritual weapon of both bonus actions. Fuck. Oh. Uh, use the spiritual weapon. I'll drop the hit points. Yeah. So get your spell point, uh, your spell level back for the healing okay. word. That's reasonable. Yeah. Silas would just be saying like, "Kill it." <laughs> gotcha. And it was too glorious a hit that I won't take that back. So, but it is that Graveler's works. turn, and Graveler is going to try to belly up to this thing and push it over. Oh, yeah. Ah, hey! And does. Shoving it over sideways. Uh, the He's water angry. Spills. He wanted to hit the elemental, but now the elemental's dead, so he has to have all this energy go somewhere. Rah! I'm so glad I'm part of uh, Graveler's adventuring team. <laughs> <laughs> right? Uh, as, uh, as the water spills out of it and the last of the lights are, are dissipated from, uh, from view... I'll just go ahead and remove those as well. Um, the room grows much dimmer, and then uh, in the center as well, things become much more clear as you realize that the slight shimmer that came from the barricade, which surrounded the uh, device, has now gone. Uh, 
whatever shielding it had has now dropped. Yay! Uh, Graveler still has a chance to move. Mm. Um, or, I don't think it's a bonus action, but... Yeah, he'll move. Okay. Okay, it moves into the, the area. This guy's no longer. And Stormbringer's turn. Now from within, all of you can kind of see the uh, swirl of, uh, of water flowing around this, uh, this center in the being. And the struggle within becoming more and more urgent. You can see now that with some of the, the strikes that the, the feminine creature inside is making, um, they're pushing through and even carving into the water on the inside. It seems as though not only has this external barrier fallen, but some of the internal barrier may have fallen as well. Um, with a fury, though, Stormbringer, Stormbringer launches once more its weather pulse. Might be the last time for it. I don't know. Uh, thunder wave rolls across the room. Uh, constitution save. Yeah. Yeah. Again, that'll just uh, knock me to zero. And once again, uh, Annie and uh, Medric have advantage. Ooh. I did not know digital dice could be caught. Like, the animation for it is popped completely. <laughs> well, you might not want to see those numbers. Um, Nax, you've already rolled once. I'm not sure. Oh, that was for... Uh, for was, uh, the one was for a Graveler. It's, it's weird that Graveler even has the, the better boxes. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, let's see. For uh, Annie fails, uh, Graveler succeeds. Uh, Medric uh, fails. Um, Silas? I can't succeed on it. Um, you can succeed. You'll still take the damage, but you might not be thrown across the room. Uh, sure. I mean, I'll be down either way. You'll be down either way, but you won't get a death save from, by being yeeted across the room into a pillar. Uh, and you do make sure. it, so you take uh, one point of thunder damage, which unfortunately does oh. put you down. Um, for the other two... Uh, you both take two points of thunder damage and you are pushed back, which will knock you into the wall. Smack. And it's more like there. Uh, which... Do, 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 do. Uh, I meant to have that additional thing, so it's just the one point of bludgeoning damage for each of you being hitting about against the wall. You're both prone. Uh, and... Just one. Just one. Uh, so total for you each is, is three. Um... And Zorn, uh, sorry, uh, a Graveler is not moved back, but does take one point of thunder damage as it rolls across the room in kind of the fury of this uh, of this creature as well. Uh, this guy is no more. Um, Annie. Oh. Um, well, here we are. Uh, I'm going to stand up, so I have 15 feet of movement. You do see that Silas appears to be there. Yep. He's got uh, little artificially uh, coming off him. <laughs> I'll go uh, here. Uh, I'll pick up a crystal. Okay, athletics check. I'll say you can use the crowbar. Uh, Medric still has the crowbar. Oh, right. Actually, yeah. 15, 15 is enough. 15 is enough, though, to grab a, a crystal. There's actually Perfect. only one on that particular pistol. Or, uh, pistol? pistol. <laughs> that particular <laughs> pedestal. Or, it's not even that. It's a, it's a pole? I don't even know what these things are anymore. Uh, I'll go here. And, well, I'll I just want to see something right quick. If I go to here, that's 25. Okay. Yep. Uh, I, I will go to here uh, with a dash. Uh, 
it. Sorry, I just came to uh, there. Need to make sure I had something actually displayed there. Uh, so you go and you run over there with a dash. Okay, you make some, you make some, uh, make some tracks. Remember, you did have to stand up, but I think you had that okay. Yeah, I think you didn't do that. That's why I dashed. Gotcha. Yep. Uh, Silas. Death save. No problem. One succeeded. Ooh. Medric. Well, I have to get up, so that's... Half your movement. Half movement. Calculating stuff. Okay. Damn it, I can't make it to cover. I mean, aside from the cover that's right in front of you. Yeah, but I mean to get more to the other side. <laughs> One, two, three. So there's my regular movement. What's your movement? 30? Yeah. Yeah. And then I'll dash over here. Okay. Trying to get the Silas mainly. All right, Graveler. We'll go up. Oh, actually, sorry. Wait. What is your bonus action? Bonus action is going to be to move the uh, spiritual. Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that bonus action. Uh... Yeah, it might be you get three hit points. <laughs> <laughs> it's enough. It's enough to get him up anyway. Yeah. All right. As you're <laughs> conscious. Um, uh? See, the, the important part about that is is not being almost down when you get struck is very important. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They um, also didn't, they didn't want to get yeeted backwards into the portal or whatever <laughs> slime leads to the portal. <laughs> yeah, or, or, you know, the acid pool right behind him. Um, I like the fact that you're referring to it as him be, as you guys being yeeted. That's kind of neat. Um, it is gravel. It is uh, Graveler's turn. Yeah. I'm assuming there's things for him to smash in the center, right? Oh yes, he can now move freely in towards it. Uh, he does have to oh, be yeah. careful because this thing is actually moving at a high speed. But essentially, uh, you'd be a little bit further away, kind of outside of where the circle is. Otherwise, mm -hmm. he's going to be struck by the thing itself. Okay. Uh, and now it's it's attempt to uh, to strike at it. Um, one thing I will point Smash. out, uh, I believe what? from uh, from uh, from Graveler's sheet, uh, I believe he does double damage versus structures, if I recall correctly. Right, he is like a siege weapon kind of. Mm hmm. Uh, that is a hit. I'm trying uh, to find where it says that. It's called siege or something like that. Something like that. It should be under the first yeah. section of his uh, sheet. Uh, I'm just going to move nice. this here so I have an easier chance of doing it. Uh, I don't see it, though. I will just double Look, check. I know it's a thing, but I, I don't see it. I thought that was one of the things that they got. I'm just going to double check on that. I just checked d, d Beyond. They have Earth, Bite, Stone, Camouflage, and Treasure Sense, not... Uh... Yeah. Uh, Not seed. Okay. That's the regular earth elemental. Yeah, they're kind of demi elementals. Right, right. Yeah, they're the mid level uh, elemental. Uh, so my mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. Just... It would have been nice, but um... yeah, <laughs> it just has to smash more okay. there. Yeah, it's just going to have to use all four of its attacks. <laughs> exactly. Oh, uh, there's a nine for the second one. That's pretty. Would have been nice. Uh, I don't know why I'm having difficulty grabbing the thing. There's a, the mic's off. Does a nine hit? <laughs> uh, a nine does not hit. Twenty-three. Uh, Twenty-three definitely hits. So and I've got bite. To... Oh, bite does not hit. Mm. 
Oh, well. Chips are chips. Um, oh, that's why I had it marked as is drawing. Uh, so let's see. Wow, that would have been a nasty bite if you had hit, though. So we're losing the mm-hmm. six, and we're losing the eight. All right. Uh, he uh, successfully mauls at the um, the uh, the spinning diamonds, and you can see that they are starting to crack and break. Uh, you almost get the impression uh, from where you guys are that its its shielding was everything else that came at, came before this. It is, however, Stormbringer's turn. Now, let's see. First of all. How does he knock me down now? <laughs> First of all, um, from within, you see a the uh, crystal being's f- uh, arm form a long... Sp- uh, actually, no, it doesn't form things. Uh, just tearing out through. Uh, you can see the yeah. fingers themselves have, have claws. Uh, let's see where... Oh, actually, do, 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 do I have... I really hope she's on our side. Uh, let's see. Yep. I don't know where her sheet is. That's weird. I'll have to find it later. Not important. I remember roughly what it was. As you see some of it uh, uh, sort of smash outward from within. And there is no response from Stormbringer. Now you can see that the two spinning things on the inside are starting to wobble slightly. Annie. Hey. Hola. Um, well, I, that is a measuring tool. Um, You're sizing up the situation. Yep. I can get to here. Uh, I will hand off the crystal to Silas if I can. Okay. Yeah, I say that's easy enough. Um, walk by, pass, <laughs> plop it in his hand. Uh, and I've, uh, actually, yeah. I'll actually go. Yeah, I I can go here and peek or, peek around the corner, right? To try to hit it. Yep. Okay. So I'm behind this wall here. As long as you're right up next to it, it provides a little bit of shelter for those corner pieces. The other ones don't really provide enough cover. Yeah. Uh, so I will... I have nothing else to do but send a, another arrow flying at it and hope it uh-huh. doesn't just, you know, fling it over at us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah. as it flies over, it just sort of... It sort of gets caught in one of the outer rings and deflected off in a random direction. Yep. Um, and I will tell Graveler to keep doing what you're doing. Okay. Try biting first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, did did, did no, Graveler didn't even take your advice last time, did he? No. He, he well, no, because the hammer killed the thing before it could. <laughs> No. Well, no, he just attacked the thing, but he attacked the bite last. Yeah. Um, Must be why it missed. Um, <laughs> that is your move and action. Uh, and bonus was to give uh, help Graveler. Right. Gotcha. Silas. Okay. Well, with his staff in one hand and the crystal in the other hand, Silas gets up. Moves three squares and takes a crack at that thing. <laughs> okay. 21. 21 eight. is a hit. Nice. Eight magical bludgeoning damage. Nice. That's all of his movement done. Uh, bonus action, he'll also smash the crystal against it. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> Wait, against it? Dead. What's that? Against it? Or against like... Yeah, he's going to shatter the crystal against something. So okay. might as well be against the whirling diamond things. Um, make an arcana check. Hmm. 
Don't heal it. Nine. Okay. Uh, roll the 2d4 plus 2. Double ones, so four. So you heal it for four points. Damn. As the magical energy dissipates into it. So it stands there. Well, that's interesting. He looks back at Annie. Don't smash the crystals against it. Why would you do that? <laughs> I needed to break the crystal. I'm not muscly like you guys. <laughs> All right. I'm not uh, muscly either. <laughs> that was the bonus and the uh, action. Yeah, that's everything I got. Medric. I'll move in and smash. Fourteen to hit. Uh, fourteen hits. Fuck. Four oh. damage. Hey, I negated Nax's hit. <laughs> awesome. Uh, it does seem to be wobbling even more, and you think that the outer ring is going to give way any second now. Bonus or, action. Or did oh. he negate your healing? Yeah. Hit with the hammer, or the spiritual weapon, 23. That hits. For four damage. Why do this, I keep rolling so low? This time you notice that uh, the, the flaming hammer seems to do a lot less than you expected. Almost as if the stone itself, or this device, is not bothered by elemental magic. Goddamn. Isn't it or, force, though? Or bothered less than. Uh... Oh, that's right. It's not actually fire. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> it just looks like fire. Right. I keep forgetting that, too, which is terrible. Whoops. There you go. All right. Well, then the, the outer ring actually falls free of this uh, of this device, uh, kind of crashing in towards the inner part of it and smashing. The inner part is still whirling, however. Uh, graveler. Which means you can actually move Graffler. one step closer if you wanted to. In fact, you have to move uh, one step closer in order to be able to hit it. But you're no longer will in, move one step closer. No longer in danger. And he will bite first. <laughs> Gets advantage. Hey. Need it, but that's definitely a hit. Chomp. Nice. Tastes like crystal. <laughs> Claw. Uh, Twenty-two. Second hit, and so. It seems appropriate, I suppose. As Graveler moves deeply into this creature, describe to me, and I'll give this to uh, to you, Nax. Describe to me how this device is destroyed. Well, after grabbing a mouthful of it, he just like flings a huge chunk out towards the back of the room or the corner of the room. There, there's no corner; it's a circular room. But like <laughs> elsewhere, out of sight, it, it flings it like, a big piece of it out, and then. Reaching from, like, the behind arm, it'll just... Well, I, I have no idea how to, this can be, like, better than usual. It'll just punch it, and the whole thing's going to topple to the ground. I don't know. Okay. So I kind of imagine that it's spinning, vroom, 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 and then he reaches out with the teeth uh, and kind of grabs onto the spinning portion and stops it. You can hear the grinding of of sound, magical energy rippling up around this thing, lightning and and uh, and clouds and rain and thunder all being combusted at once as he kind of lurches back, pulling the frame free and then shoves in towards the watery center which surrounds the thing. Uh, it spins and kind of cuts catches on his arm, releasing the, uh, the device itself uh, and uh, the water that surrounds uh, the being in the center drops down to the ground, revealing a uh, the creature, the feminine creature that was surrounded in the middle. Uh, that I thought I moved to the map, but apparently I didn't. There you go. Um, as uh, it sort of was suspended in midair and then lands, um, a crystalline woman of of uh, of of strong stature standing nearly eight feet tall um her head is uh has these these sort of large swept back 
um, uh, crystals that appear almost like swept out hair behind her, but everything of her is solid uh, and, uh, and crystalline in nature. Um, she lands kind of in a, let's do the superhero three-point stance, why not, uh, as she kind of lands in the rubble of all of this uh, and then uh, takes a swipe at the remaining runes that are at the bottom, one last discharge of energy that ripples across the room and then is silent as the echoing thunder rattles back and forth. Uh, with a, a heavy breath in the center, she looks up at all of you with uh, some some concern and, and some gratitude and some worry. Um, thank you for rescuing me. Now, what has happened? And that's where we'll stop for tonight and return to this particular I... moment. <laughs> because I'm out of energy to make the scene a little bit longer, which it deserves to be, but we'll have time to do that next week. Uh, yeah, way to go, guys. That was a pretty epic battle. That was meant to be an epic battle. Congratulations. You defeated the storm, uh, the Stormbringer. And did somehow change the world? I'm not really sure yet. That was kind of terrifying. It's a thought for a bit that, like, Mandrick was going to drown in a kiddie pool, essentially. That was going to be, like, <laughs> the most embarrassing yep. way for a Kmart to go. <laughs> <laughs> That, that that would be very embarrassing. No, I, I, I need ranged magic of some kind. Mm, I need better help. rolls. <laughs> Those would also help. Yeah. There's nothing we can do about that except, you know, the appropriate uh, rituals and possibly uh, some sort of sacrifice of closely held uh, physical dice so that digital dice bloom. I don't know. There are many rituals, none of which are all that successful. But congratulations, guys. This was meant to be a very dangerous fight, and I'm happy that it was, even though uh, I can't seem to hit Medrick all that hard, but I'll keep trying. Uh, I mean, you, you had him down. I did. Like, yeah, like there I was did. one time that was like, what, 27 hit points in there one was some There were some very lucky rolls, and that, that resulted in some danger. And that was what was intended, was to have some danger. Um, we will pick up from this point uh, next week. I want to thank my players for, for uh, hanging in there. We went for an extra long episode today. Uh, or extra long uh, session today, but I think it was worth it. Uh, thank you for holding in. I'll bring this to a close simply because I think all of us are probably going to have to rush off to a washroom or otherwise get refreshed here in a minute. But uh, I want to remind you that you can find this youtube.com slash ENCAF1. You can also find us on facebook.com slash LOTDI. And every Sunday at 3 o'clock Atlantic time, twitch.tv slash ENCAF1. We shall see you again next week. Thanks for Thanks, not guys. killing us. <laughs> he tried his best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>